All right, everybody. Hello and welcome to VR Master League. We are ready to get started immediately here in what is a triple header of matches on this stream. So uh, as we get off and underway we, between Magnertia and Phoenix, um, uh, Palador here casting, camming for you as well, and being joined now by Swift. And Swift, uh, how's your day been? And what are you uh, looking forward to in some of these streams? we been doing pretty good. Uh Missed some streams earlier today, so uh, gonna make up for it. And uh, hopefully these are gonna be entertaining games, and I, I'm sure they will be. Uh, Vacant is gonna get this one away, and it, it might actually be Phoenix coming across with this first goal. And Monster alone in the two-point bubble, getting pressured, but it's just a little bit too late. Those two points for Phoenix. All right, good start there for Phoenix. Uh, coming in with those first two points, Monster, but for the side of Magnertia, interesting, kind of interesting story. They uh, are sort of a mix now between uh, uh, inert Team Inertia and uh, a Magnitude. They sort of combined uh, their rosters there when Inertia split up uh, the other week and kind of are retaining now players from both teams here. So kind of a cool conglomerate, I suppose, as uh, they'll go for their first attempt now, maybe at some points, but that's going to be tossed right Ooh. to Sniper, who gets it right out the left lane. Yeah, and the long pass is just not working out so far for Magnertia. Monster? Getting stunned away though, and the uh, defense is back. And uh, Addison getting that uh, pass. Oh, but missing the hands of Neat. So, might be another turnover if this doesn't bounce too close to the goal. Gonna be vacant picking it up now. And uh, yeah, some uh, more long passes coming out from Phoenix, but uh, I think the difference is Magnertia. Uh, they're, they're passing more towards the stacks of Phoenix, and it's, it's causing it to get intercepted a fair amount. Whereas. Uh, Magnetius uh, Phoenix, sorry, so far have been uh, putting some very well placed passes. As that one is two, oh, and a very well placed shot, but just off the mark. Yeah, trying to paint that bottom corner, but instead found it uh, bouncing right back out again. And vacant will just collect it from the midline, being uh, sent there just to back it out. And as uh, we see, you know, from these teams, kind of learning how to control the pace of their offense, how to drag out defenders just like this. And because of that, you know, uh, they open up the bubble to just a better situation. That said, there was actually no available passes because all the teammates were kind of outside the bubble. But nonetheless, the uh, whole idea of that back out offense is just to open up your lanes, make it easier to work it in with some uh, cross passes. And so far, some really good recognition on the defense by Magnesia. Recognize that they need to split up. They uh, try to get some stacks a couple of times there, but then realize that they're, all they have to do is they kind of just have to cover the passes, get some pressure put on. And uh, they should end up with uh, the inception, and they they did get the incept, and now oh, going for the bounce shot, but it's too slow. Phoenix on the back, so maybe a bit of miscommunication there, as uh, that shot goes out and this clear, finding the hands of sniper, looking at an open three, but just not making the shot, bouncing off the tunnel, and uh, now a recollect here, fight for the disc, sniper getting the stun, but not the disc, and fighting crab here gonna clear that one away. And that gets sent through the mid lane. There's a couple defenders way back there. See Spellbind, by the way, in the chat. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to forget you. It was a very quick start, but with the highlighted messages, just saying good luck, guys. Make it a good match. Also see uh, Big Up Fireman right there. Fireman Sam, that is. And how are you? Sam, you are. Welcome to the stream. All the same as Monster gets the disc at uh, 6 minutes, 37 seconds. And the points not scored, but the rebound also <laughs> off there from Neat. So uh, we'll be recovered and sent out the bubble. That one's going to be hurting them. The, uh, <laughs> the headbutt and then bouncing to the top post. Uh, kind of a double ding, if you will. Yeah, big up Fireman Sam is probably one of the most English names I've ever heard in this chat. Which is absolutely incredible. Fighting Crab, though. Gonna get that one away, not quite uh, hitting the tunnel though. Uh, Neat is gonna pick it up instead and trying to find it. But, ooh, vacant. Getting that, ooh, but not the clear again. So, a uh, bit of uh, disorganization happening right now for Phoenix as uh, they struggle to get it through. And now Magnertia again with possession, but the clear is too far through and Sniper's gonna pick it up on the other end. Yeah, lower scoring game here to start. It's just two to zero. We're already a little over four minutes in. And uh, big up Fireman saying, my name isn't even Sam. Your name isn't even Sam. Fireman Sam's your idol. Uh, how about me? Am I, am I your idol? Your, your American idol? Don't make me sing now. Over here, though, Addison Mays is going to zing and zoom, trying to find the room over there in the pass to the side, but taken back by Vacant. Diving out the bubble and sending it out to a teammate on the other side, but just crosses right by him. 
And uh, Phoenix here, two points and the disadvantage, at least for a moment. And the three-point shot, but it's a little bit off target. And Cool Master there, just uh, going to take it back. Going to keep it cool and going to try for the clear and boost. The stack is already downfield. So uh, ooh, the read is just a little bit off, fortunately. But Addison takes it anyway because the stun from Neat buys him a little bit of time. So the back pass is fighting Crab, but ooh, just missing him there. Sniper gets a collection for Phoenix now. She's going to try to extend their lead, but... Uh, I mean, McNertia just all over them so far. The stack coming through, but over uh, shooting there will be vacant. And coming down mid again, it's going to be fighting Crab taking it once more. He's looking at an open three. It's definitely not an easy angle, though. And the stack comes back for Phoenix, uh, but takes three anyway. A little bit ambitious there. Maybe so. Should have gone for the pass. Yeah, a little bit bold to kind of eyed it down and gauge the threats. And uh, unfortunately, not the results they want, so that could be dangerous here, but does not go against McNurse, at least not this time around, as the stacks collect for Phoenix. And they're down the floor zooming, uh, but so is a couple players uh, for McNurse, but unable to collect that. Uh, just going to bounce high again, and kind of those 50-50 gamble plays here. Not sure who's going to come away with it. Uh, looks like McNurse now maybe taking control and looking for a cross, actually, as that bounces off. Yeah, and uh, this one kind of acts as a self-pass. Oh, neat. Finding the disc, but looks a little bit surprised there. A little bit uh, off guard by the disc, but doesn't matter. It's taken again by Coolmaster. Oh, just missing the hands though of Fighting Crab. The pass is not quite landing here for Magnertia. Although this one might. And Neek oh. trying to find it. What a save from Vacant there, stuffing the offender. Fighting Crab takes it again though. The exact same pass, mm. the exact same save. Vacant getting it away. That is a vacant ace on the defensive end, uh, doing some fantastic work. Now it's a stack coming in from all involved. There's three different stacks on the floor, zooming across the floor. There it is, Phoenix trying for the gold, Ooh. dinging, dinging, dunking, and Sniper fighting it, finally breaking the funk, and it's four to zero for Phoenix. Yeah, yeah I really wasn't sure uh, what was gonna happen there. There was just so many people in that bubble, but uh, it is gonna be Sniper finding that. Nevertheless, and now extending the lead for Phoenix uh, to just four points, and uh, we will see a uh, restart here. All right, so unknown on the reasons, but we do have a restart for the moment, so it could be any variety of things. But uh, so we'll be five minutes there on the clock. See, big up fireman in there also saying just the random name I thought of. Uh, Sam isn't actually my idol either. Well, aren't you just misleading all the way around today? <laughs> uh, Name's not Sam. Then you say, Fireman Sam's your idol. I'm not even sure who Fireman Sam is, to be quite honest. And then you say, nope, Fireman Sam isn't actually my idol. I just made it up. Well, you're, you're very imaginative, but you never answer my question. Am I, am I your idol, at least? This is how you can make up for it. I'm giving you, I'm giving you an, up, an in. <laughs> big up Palador. Yeah, big up Palador. That's what, you're, that's what you're Oh, Big up Casterman Palador. Big, big up Casterman. Too many words. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, looks like teams may be trying to communicate here uh, about something or other. Of course, we do have some other matches for you coming along uh, on the streams tonight. This is just the first triple header. There are actually two triple headers. Indeed, that's going to be this one, Magnertia and Phoenix. But we've also have, we also have a high ping versus Space Monkeys scheduled to start at the half hour mark. And we have... Barrage versus Outlaws in another 50 minutes. So just back to back to back. Uh, following that, there will be likely a bit of a break there. Likely. Uh, we'll have Then we'll have Instinct versus Team Joker to start things off in the, the evening uh, slash nighttime there of NA, uh, or the Americas, I suppose, more accurately. And that will be, again, at 6 Pacific and 9 Eastern time, about two hours from now. Following that, we'll have Toxin versus Real Speed. And then finally, Protostar versus Fox Force 5. So, a lot of games coming up. A lot of games indeed. And it looks like uh, Oinculus is having some issues. And uh, I did hear a sub being mentioned, but uh, from what I see here, it looks like they might just play on 3v4, and indeed. It does seem to be what's going on, so hopefully they can get that issue sorted out. But uh, they do have the lead, so they might be able to maintain it. I see. All right. Well, uh, interesting and also unfortunate. So one player just being uh, left, I guess, 
in the back there. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going with it then. So continuing on the game, currently at the numbers disadvantage will be Magnertia. Uh, throwing an intercept, in fact. That's going to go bounce uh, high, bounce low, but a bit off the backboard there. Snagged by Addison. Addison trying to get it out. Uh, Farting Crab taking it over. And uh, needs to be careful of that stack. And nice shield, actually, to deny Monster. Yeah, and just even with the uh, three players, really good recognition and stack building by Phoenix so far this game. And uh, it definitely got something to prove uh, here. Vacant clearing it away. And uh, the stack might come through first to Magnertia. Um, it takes a while for them to get the disc, but still, Fighting Crab's going to walk this one through and just going to get that pass over to Addison. Trying to uh, trying to use the numbers to their advantage here. They're trying to get the uh, lead back, but they don't have a lot of time to do it. Yeah, see Alakos in the chat there saying, hello there, that's Swift. Uh, yes, I'm Swift. That's Palador next to me. And... Uh, this is, a, this is a fun match that's unfortunately turned into a 3v4 momentarily. One player with tech issues just sitting in spawn. But, yeah, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Our league moderator. Is that, is that all a cost? I think I so. I that's all a cost. <laughs> I think so, unless I forgot how to read, which is a possibility on any given day. That said, a nice Ooh. sling that almost hit its mark from Farting Crab. That's going to be taken back by Neat. Neat uh, having it bounced off the shoulder, though. There's still some teammates over there. Three of them piled up. They will have one more cross, maybe. Uh, but Disc is lost to Monster, snagging it out there from under the bed. And that's a clear once again. And in fact, the, the bounce was off of uh, Cool Master's head. Uh, so there were just so many players in that area that it just happened to find the head. Monster getting the bounce shot. And that one uh, floating through. It's not very fast, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, kind of an unexpected shot. And... Caught the goalie off guard. Enough to make them seven points here. It's uh, debatable whether this is going to be enough time to come back. Yeah, that will be pretty tough here, especially with the numbers disadvantaged, presumably still, unless uh, we suddenly see four launch out, which, well, we do. Uh, but that said, unless it was, maybe it was the other side. Never mind. Either or. Point is, seven points behind. It's, it's going to be tough. And I think here is a nice pass actually gets through, but uh, unfortunately the momentum a little awkward. Couldn't convert on the, the fadeaway shot to the right. Uh, they'll have 39 seconds left for this one and one option to the backboard, but tough on the catch, and that's going to sail right out to the side. I wonder if uh, pressure is a big uh, influence in this match because, I mean, all the other passes really from Magnesia are they're completely fine. But as soon as the last... Oh, and another headbutt. Oh, and another ding. It's just not going well for Magnesia so far. And uh, this one grabbed by Monster and cleared away, but... Their last pass, it's, it's always, yeah, it's either the last pass or the last shot that uh, always gets kind of uh, messed up. I, I'm wondering if there's some nerves there. Well, maybe because uh, the you know, for these teams mentioned, uh, they are running with a bit of an altered roster than they were in previous weeks. Again, changing their name uh, to Bagnertia, having those ma uh, Inertia players, a team that uh, split apart there. Somewhat anyways. They all, uh, I think two or three of them came here to Ma uh, Magnertia now. And... You know, it could be a matter of nerves, could be a matter of chemistry. Uh, just the same, they did get a couple of good looks at the goal throughout that round, and then they were denied by Vacant two or three times, making it even more tough. Yeah, and some, some headbutts and dings coming out there, unfortunately, which uh, isn't the best for your morale, but uh, hopefully they can shrug it off. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I mean, it's just seven points. It's not, uh, it's not crazy big of a lead, but, I mean, as I always say... The difference between even it being seven or even if it was nine two it's the same lead uh, it, if you get points in a round it kind of completely changes your outlook on the round because you can right. see what worked uh but at the moment they kind of don't know what is going to work um or, or they know what's going to work they just have to execute it better which is way easier said than done yeah yeah no for sure it's it's a uh... Uh, always a figuring out process. I mean, these these players already uh, were you know friends with each other and uh, you know got along well. But it's it's a different dynamic knowing each other personally and knowing each other as teammates. And uh, sometimes there is a little figuring out process. Sometimes the figuring out process, the warm up process, it just takes a round as well. I mean, it could still be very different uh, in this second round, especially with Phoenix here still opting to roll with the three v four. So we'll see how this unfolds. I mean, we got ten minutes to find out. Yeah, this might end up being a three-round game, and uh, I don't know, we'll see. This pass coming through from Phoenix, uh, 
Just a lateral pass there. This one going to Sniper, who's uh, oh, just going to snatch that one away from Vine Crab. The duck and dive is just too slow. Going to take, uh, going to be taken by Coolmaster, who's going to try and get that clear. Oh, but clears it straight into the hands of Vacant there, unfortunately. So this one going to be passed through. Uh, maybe trying a bounce pass here to Sniper, but oh, being a little bit too slow. Oh. Being said, he's going to get the steal, but being stuffed by Coolmaster. So I mean, if you talk about offensive uh, momentum so much, but. Yeah, that might build them some uh, defensive momentum. Yeah, that, that was uh, a little bit casual on the walk and go. Maybe thought they had more time or more space, so tried to walk it in softly. Got saved in a very tough manner. That said, Sniper doesn't matter. Showing no manners on that goal right through a bunch of defenders. Two points for Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder if the 3v4, uh, if anything, is kind of taking Magnusha off guard because in essence, Phoenix would be playing now different, uh, differently to what they would normally play like. So maybe they uh, caught off guard by that. And it's not uh, kind of as simple as just having one player is worse, although neat uh, getting that one put through. But yeah, I mean, especially with this uh, kind of warm-up dynamic that's happening in this game, uh, I don't know, maybe it's putting them off, although not seeming to put them off on that goal. They're going to equalize and maybe find the lead in the next uh, few minutes. And that was a uh, very sweet from Neat there to at least tie it up. Got to take full advantage of this situation if they can, uh, having that player still lost out. Uh, Sniper walks it up the floor, just uh, barely getting it through before the stack knocks him out. That said monster here from that corner just Juking, dancing, maneuvering all around, trying not to lose a disc while trying to lose a defender. Now, does actually slip by, not for too long. That's a nice from Farting Crab to deny. Yeah, and uh, pass. It was there, but it wasn't quite uh, quick enough being stunned away. Uh, although, uh, that back pass play they just formed was a pretty good one. Oh, being stolen by Farting Crab, though. Uh, probably not uh, meant to happen, but... Being slapped away, nevertheless, uh, by Magnusha. Buying them a little bit of time, but Sniper's going to get that one straight back. Get the pass to Monster. And now a 1v2. They could choose to back it out, but to who? They, uh, they have three players here, so they've got to be really careful with where they position themselves. And I think they've done really well this round mm -hmm. to get so many interceptions off. Um, Farting Crab, as that one is very close to the goal. Farting Crab's done a great job, too, just defensively outside that bubble. You can see in those uh, two plays, the two drive attempts in the bubble, it was uh, Crab coming away with that disc, and now it's Neat coming away with a shot, uh, assisted by Addison, and they may indeed welcome so themselves to a lead by two. Yeah, it definitely does look like it. It doesn't seem like the uh, fourth player is coming back anytime soon for Phoenix, so... They, they've kind of got to uh, play what their cards that they have. And, uh, I mean, let's see how they'll change things up, because clearly what they were using in the first round isn't working. Yeah. Uh, anymore, uh, they? They, they could always opt for a sub, too, uh, wouldn't, uh, but, you know, at the moment, seemingly going for the just uh, 3v4 being played and maybe hoping their teammate gets back. Uh, did you happen to catch in, in the comms, if you're listening, what specifically it was? Was it a controller thing, or...? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it is, but huh. uh, I heard something about the soul but i think they just didn't bother in the end but that shot coming through not quite on target we'll bounce back though to vacant uh, who is going to be vacant from that stun and now going to be a monster taking it up trying to get a pass to uh to vacant yet again saying his name a lot he's uh, got a lot of possession in this game transferring it over to sniper he's gonna get the overhead dunk and uh, he's gonna put it in for the two yeah special delivery from vacant to sniper and uh, they wipe away that two-point deficit, make it evened up once again. It's 5.28 remaining, 4-4, four to four, and Joust advantage going now to Magnertia. And uh, I'd like to see them change uh, their Joust a little bit here, because they should be getting the straight away pretty much into the bubble here. They have uh, all the space and time in the world uh, to do so, so... Yeah, definitely should be focusing more on those passes now. Utilizing that to their advantage. Ooh. That being said, fighting Crab. Utilizing that little tiny gap he had in the goal to his advantage. Taking the three. And now going to be a slightly more difficult for Phoenix to come back in this round. Although there is uh, plenty of time remaining. There's definitely time for just to get two two-pointers. But just having that three-point lead, the, the three option is kind of always on the back of your mind. 
Yeah, and a Sniper with that disc now going to sail it over to the other side of the floor. And a great hit from Farting Crab. You saw he also threw in some duck maneuvers, uh, similar to the duckers earlier that he just punched out. Doing the move himself that time and getting the good results. Bacon's here trying to convert on some of their own and just uh, come right back with the, the clap back, it seems. And there's a two-point shot attempt. Going to be off. Uh, still four minutes remaining here as it will be grabbed by Addison. Slung through on the clear. And now back to the stacks. Uh, from the front to the back. And they might have themselves a good two-on-one situation, but a little rush on the shot there as Monster proclaims that uh, victory on that uh, play. Yeah, and Fighting Crab with another three-point shot. Fool, uh, fool me once as this one coming through, but uh, not quite going to be retrieved by Sniper, although he does get the stun, uh, forcing the, uh, the clear there, so... Uh, getting oh the back pass missing though this could cost them if the uh, stack is quick uh, but not quite there yet for Magnertia and it's gonna be taken by sniper here he's gonna look for the cross but blocked off well so forced to take the back pass which is also covered out by fighting crab so now gonna be cleared away fighting crab on the leech finds the open three opportunity will he take it through but not uh, quite finding the goal and Sniper will find the disc that sends it in, uh, into the tunnel. Kind of bounces that direction as uh, Addison Mays takes the disc. You got the teammates position kind of in the mid zone, not really in the, the best area to receive a pass that will bounce kind of every which way before finally uh, Farting Crab comes along and uh, actually tries to strong arm this for himself and take it, but uh, contesting at, at the very least, doing a good job contesting. Now trying to get the disc back. At, uh, yeah, tough, tough job here so far, but Phoenix is holding pretty strong, e uh, even being disadvantaged at the numbers. Yeah, and uh, now we're going to be slapped away by Vacant, who's uh, going to try and find the disc, although doesn't find the stack, so it's uh, it's going to be difficult. And uh, seeing a lack of stacks, presumably because of the, the player down, but from Phoenix, the, their stacks haven't been quite as on point this round. But uh, Vacant still looking for the one on two, but the punch coming through for Fighting Crab, although pushing himself the wrong direction. Doesn't matter, it's going to be slapped away either way. And now, stuck coming through for Magnertia. They might find the disc first, and indeed they will. But uh, will they get enough time for the shot? Oh, oh! the duck coming through, <laughs> missing, what? but eventually making it. Going to be Fighting Crab, who uh, is going to be fighting after missing that first opportunity. Not even sure what that means, but you know what? They, they got the goal. That's what counts. Sounds a. Uh... Sounds gross, though. Whatever it was you just said. Uh, less than two <laughs> just... minutes left. Nine to four. <laughs> don't focus on that. Anyway. I don't want Phoenix to. Phoenix taking the disc. <laughs> we can be cleared away. And uh, now, uh, gonna be trying to find it again, Sniper. Not quite finding it, though. Misreading a little bit, but Monster. He has a disc, and there is an open net, but well read by Magnertia to push there. There wasn't really an angle on the goal. So, uh, just going to be taken yet again by Sniper. Just trying to push this through. He has like, quite a bit of time getting the, the duck and die, but not quite finding the shot. Instead, finding the top half of the uh, the wall there. But the clear not quite coming through either. Neat. Uh, making a mess of that clear. Harsh, but got to say it. Monster. Oh, it looks for the three, but just missing there off of the post. And going to be uh, going to be flying away once again. All right, so over to the blue side, gonna uh, sail right into the zone there. A fast boosted player, Coolmaster there, was uh, tr trying to get into the area for the disc, maybe expecting his teammate there to still be attached or closely behind. Will eventually get it. There's Farting Crab, nice pass to Neat. Neat shot to the goal. That's 11 to four with 36 seconds. And Magnertia in position now to force this third round. Yeah, and I'm wondering in, in this third round, is Phoenix going to opt for a sub? I certainly would if I was them. They definitely have the opportunity for it. But whether they know that or not is a different question. But I don't know. If they continue to play with three players, it doesn't seem like uh, with the pacing that Magnesia is setting of this second, uh, this second round here. That, uh, I don't know. It's not looking like a, a victory so far to Phoenix, although they did take the first round by a margin. But... Again, it could just be that Magnertia weren't quite warmed up again. The three-man uh, in the goal could have easily gone wrong, but not quite there at the end. It's going to be 11-4. to four. Yeah, so curious to, see, uh, curious to see what they do on the side of Phoenix. Of course, I mean, if you take timeouts between rounds, they don't count towards your uh, tech timeout totals. So, I mean, they're 
it's within their uh, reason to take uh, five minutes here if they wish. But we'll, we'll see what they go for. Haven't heard anything uh, in the league organization channel otherwise, so we're just going to kind of go with the flow and hope for the best, especially, you know, for Phoenix to finish out this match if they can, full strength, and, you know, get that entertaining third round there. Yeah, hopefully the, uh, hopefully we do get an uh, exciting third round. Pretty sure, pretty sure we are seeing a discussion between whether they're going to take a sub or not. And uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think they are going to go for a sub. In fact, the uh, way the discussion's going at this uh, this point, just uh, discussing tactics and what they need to do for this round, which is uh, certainly what they should be doing. Especially if they're not going to take this opportunity to get a sub, they need to find different ways to get around the uh, defense here of Magnesia. All right, well, we will go through for this uh, Joust. It looks like uh, it's going to be Phoenix keeping the uh, keeping the three v four here, and uh, this one going to be headbutted by Monster. Going to look for the uh, recollection on the disc once more, but fine crowd. Gonna uh, get this pass to Addison and all oh, this uh, being well read though by Vacant. This is what I meant earlier on when I said uh, Phoenix are doing a great job so far of the interceptions. And speaking of the interceptions, it's gonna be Addison returning one as well, but not quite getting the bounce shot there. It'll be Vacant taking it once more, but they're setting up so well for interceptions and they've got really great positioning for, especially for just having three players. Yeah, it's it's very tough to. Uh to maneuver around the floor with only three, especially when the other team has four, obviously, but every every player mattering so much to the overall efforts. I mean, one less player, that means just one less stack. That's a big duck and getting it right through. So the crab with a duck somehow and finds the coal does bounce off the head in, in, in fact of a vacant, but it's a good result. <laughs> I just think that was funny the way that it looked. It looked like it, he went straight down and then hit something. <laughs> so, but he did get the goal, nevertheless. Whether he hit something or not, I, that was that was just funny to watch. Yeah, and Sniper uh, trying to undo that and now find just a pass over there, just missing uh, the hands of his teammate, Monster. So uh, as a result, they're gonna dive out the goal here for Magnertia, slap it away. That's gonna hit the bow tie area and slung out quickly, but right back to him. Uh, self pass basically and sales pass into the corner. A lot of strange bounces and the reads aren't quite on point, uh, really from uh, from either team so far. But uh, I mean, hopefully that levels this out. But uh, I mean, this is why what I suggest is uh, all the time if if you're gonna practice shots, use the use the uh, public disc in the uh, in the practice arena, or use your personal disc. But don't pick it. Uh, don't keep respawning it. But fighting crab just gonna shut me up right there. But. Uh, He's gonna keep yeah, with responding the, with those shots. Yeah, the four-point lead now for Magnertia. It's really not looking good for Phoenix here without uh, getting the sub. Yeah, I mean, what I was saying is uh, once you take a shot, if, if your shot misses, uh, I mean, work on just getting that recollection because, I mean, that's really gonna help you in a game when it comes to reading the bounces. It's uh, all the strange little uh, curbs. If you, if you know about all of them, you can get to the disc much faster, even if you don't have a stack sometimes. And now a lot of punches coming through on those attempted stacks and some leeches, but uh, nice recoveries, at least initially, but pileups forming. There's another bit of a boost coming through from both teams here, just trying to find the disc. Uh, nice moves from Phoenix, again, working with what they've got, which is to say the three players and trying to just stay uh, stuck together because the moment that they lose each other is the moment that they are stranded out there. Yeah, and I mean, this one oh, almost making that bounce pass. It's going to be Addison getting the grab, but nice backwards clear uh, over the head there, but not quite going to make it very far. Fine Crab going to take that one once more. we are trying to get the pass through, but again, the positioning here from Phoenix, whether they have three members or not, they're getting so many interceptions, and this one actually could get them a goal. Sniper <laughs> trying to snipe that shot, but going to be saved anyway, and uh, Addison taking it through, and he is going to get the clear, although bouncing straight back to him, and looks like this one uh, is just going to be cleared away yet again. Edison doing a great job on that defensive play. Uh, granted, you know, it was a soft fling. That was a, still an accurate one, fading away from that corner. But a good job from uh, Magnusha getting back into the 
bubble to de uh, defend that one quickly. Trying to defend this one, and that is, talk about quickly. That was thrown with some strength and with some purpose. And they've got themselves a three points off of that seven meter three, apparently. Yeah, but excellent shot placement there from the, just at the top left corner. The goalie went for it. Just not quite getting the hands on it. And uh, just all due to uh, the brilliant shot placement there uh, again from uh, Monster, going to take those three points, and if they get a two-pointer here, they are going to be straight into the lead, with uh, just half of this game remaining. So, uh, I don't know, they could force this uh, third round victory, and uh, it does seem like the uh, they're passing more now than they were previously. Uh, whether those passes are landing, though, is, uh, is a different story. Sometimes just walking it up the field, uh, if you're kind of not in your rhythm fully, uh, you might find more success with that. And oh, almost shown there by Sniper. He uh, kind of just did a similar thing. Instead of looking for the cross, he just took the one-on-one. -on -one. It's a, just a more straightforward play. Sometimes they they work better in some scenarios. Although, oh, this three-pointer coming through from Monster once more, but it's not going to make it quite this time. Trying to find the disc, but instead just forces that clear, which is still a, a win pretty much for Phoenix. It's kind of all they need to do. They need to just force some pressure. And they're putting on a lot of it here. Now trying to there now with another grab. It's less than five minutes left. A one-point advantage for Magnersha. Sending it cross over to Monster. Monster unable to wrangle it. Uh, corralling it, though, is Sniper. Sniper being stunned, but immediately to the great pass and the great shot. Sniper to Monster. Monster from the barrier, and they bury it to go up by a point. And uh, now going to be a lead to Phoenix. Let's see if they can maintain this, and if they can... This will be very impressive, uh, coming out with a 3v4 win. And, uh, I mean, this could even get on the nerves of, of Magnertia here. The fact that uh, they've taken the lead with 3 on 4. And hopefully they can uh, hopefully they can stay composed. And it doesn't seem like they can here. Oh, this bounce pass coming through. But the interception from Sniper. They're just so quick. Uh, grabbing up off of each other and uh, even if they're not just re-grabbing everywhere around the field just finding speed wherever they can find it oh and the save coming through but it's just not quick enough unfortunately uh getting through to the goal and uh, gonna be another two-pointer from magnertia putting them back into the lead yeah so right back up in it still 337 remaining so can uh, pretty much go either way for these teams yeah certainly could they can Trying to find this. Uh, yeah, they're finding very, very long passes, which is uh, interesting to see. But, uh, I mean, it's working so far, so, I mean, uh, really nothing to complain about there. Addison trying to take the clear. Vacant with another interception. So, in theory, I mean, it should not be v uh, very difficult for Magnusha to find the clear, since, uh, I mean, they don't have that much coverage in the midline. There's only three players, but... Sniper just keeps hiding behind that block and, and vacant once more, but oh, just finding it off the head there of uh, one of the Magnertia players. Three-point shot comes through, but a little bit ambitious as Sniper comes through, but they're just hiding. They're using the blocks so well, and they're uh, really getting ahead with the movement. And trying to get ahead again on the points. They score again here. I mean, clock is winding down. It's a relatively lower pace, a uh, lower scoring game. So everyone is going to matter. And that one will matter the goal. And trying to uh, take this advantage. Three points now. So no matter what, I mean, especially if Magnertia in the last few minutes do a good job of uh, covering their goal and just not allowing a three. Mo most importantly, not allowing a three-point shot to go through, then you're forcing Phoenix here in the next two minutes to score twice in order to win. So defense for Magnertia, a priority. Oh, Vacant jumping over the, the uh, two attackers there. They need to get a pass through. They do. Monster, is he going to find the cross? Oh, just finding the block instead. But, uh, I mean, one goal takes this from a three-point lead into a draw. Uh, so... I mean, who knows? We might even see an overtime, really, with the, uh, with the pacing so far. And especially since we know they can, uh, Phoenix can definitely find these three pointers when they need to. Yeah, trying to now get a clear, and if they can get a three, they'll gladly take it. That goal is actually exposed. So, a uh, moment pass now, though, as they cover it up. Uh, driving in for a shot, but snagging it out. Ooh. Cooler, master. Cool Master, rather, looking like a Cooler Master, though, indeed, with a, a very, very timely save there just to keep the heat away as a Monster takes a disc from that uh, right side. 
Still gonna have another chance here, but now you gotta start wondering if uh, you know, they don't act fast enough. Are they gonna try for that three, or going for Ooh. a pass instead? And actually, Magnertia losing out one player. That's going to be tough. Uh, so now really have to defend that three-point zone. And that's gonna be a clear. One minute left. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to take away from the the, uh, the heat of this play, but uh, just gotta just gotta give props to that cooler master heat joke, whether it was whether it was uh, intentional or not. Of course it was. <laughs> this, one, this one being backed out, out by Addison. They've got to keep possession. It's the three on three here, old school, and uh, oh, this one just missing the hands here. Uh, sniper finding the stone, but not the disc. Is it going to be fast enough? The slap comes through, but it's backwards, and there's an open, exposed goal. But it's going to be covered quickly enough by Vacant. Can they get a stack through? No. It'll be Coolmaster taking it once more. Take by Addison, and that will seal the deal. Unfortunately, uh, in this game, it's going to be Magnertia taking it in three rounds. Well, unfortunately for Phoenix, very fortunately for Magnertia. And yeah, no time now to go. So kind of turned into a 3v3 in the last minute. Uh, being that the fourth player here for Phoenix was out the entire way, so uh, of this round that is, and uh, dating back to the second, in fact, so kind of tough turn of events for Phoenix. But Magnusha played on, and uh, they still played to win, and win they did. As uh, we go now to the score screen in just a second, and won't linger here too long though, because we do have a uh, high ping versus space monkeys coming up, pretty much immediately. So uh, one moment, we'll get you the stats, and uh, we're gonna head off to the next game though in a minute. So. Enjoy.
All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the stream. Sorry for that brief delay, but we are back in it. And these two teams looking to come and win it. This is our second match of this uh, double header, triple header rather. We have two triple headers tonight uh, on the streams for the Americas. So a lot of stuff going on. Uh, over here on the casting desk though, I'm Palador. That's Swift by my side. And yeah, we are getting ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Mighty fine match. Of course, uh, these teams not having any history, uh, at least playing against each other. But, uh, I mean, considering the uh, MMR difference, it, it looks like it's going to be a uh, very close game. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah. Same here. I see the chat there. Slow XP saying, sup, Pally, and sup, Swift. What's up? What's up? I've uh, got Jake the Snake. Cheering on High Ping. We got Super Buddy cheering on Space Monkeys. Got Jake the Snake also saying, I got Faith. Well, you can't pick two teams. I've never heard of a Team Faith, though. That said, round one is underway, and because of my dumb joke, I'm late to the launch, but that's okay. So here it's going to be taken away by High Ping, slapping it into the uh, bottom and taken by Snipe, actually. Snipe having it stolen, though, by Short Luke. Short Luke, the Short Juke, and gets the first two at that. Good luck. And uh, yeah, the first two points there, uh, mighty quick there, 10 seconds in, and uh, yeah, gonna be high ping, taking that, just shot Luke, making the shot, shot, making it in. Yeah, shots, 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 everybody, as I go for this launch, it's taken by Marshy, Marshy over to Lil Red Wolf, and the stack there defensively for high ping in the midline, uh, kind of splitting up now, and trying to find a, a way to maneuver around all that defense. They're aggressive here from high ping, and they do actually cause a turnover, at least briefly, because of it. And uh, here, Dumpling trying to get the uh, angle on it, but there's any dude blocking that one away. Now the clear coming through. Uh, it's, uh, he's going to make this uh, first the stock. It actually will be Space Monkeys, but uh, going a little bit too low. Average Toast, though, not going to make it too low on that shot. Going to put it right above the goalie's head, and uh, going to make that Another two uh, pointer for the uh, 4 0 lead now. Slow XP saying, You don't know who to go for. You can go for the casters. Because we always win. Because these games are always entertaining. So we're a safe bet if nothing else. See Swagwar as well. Welcome to the stream. And Farting Crab off of uh, that match just not too long ago on the stream. Welcome to it. GG's and thanks for joining. Yeah, as we see this carried through by Marshy, IT, or Marshy It, however you want to say it. Either way, this one going to be, oh. oh, taking it up. And uh, over the shoulder shot, maybe the goalie uh, looking for the backboard there. In fact, going right off his head. Uh, hi there, I'm Doug, unfortunately. Uh, going to put that one in himself. Dan yeah, nearly gets the save, unfortunately. It's going to bounce right in, and uh, high ping now. Coming back at the offensive launch, first time here on offensive uh, advantage. And rolling out short there, ish, short ish, anyways, to average toast. And over to the corner where it's taken by short Luke. Yeah, and uh, he's going to try and find the short pass. And uh, promise that will not be the last joke I make of that. But uh, <laughs> it's going to be stolen away and uh, taken away by Space Monkeys. No less, the sack coming through as well. Uh, could be first the disc here, and in fact they do have an open three, but it's closed off briefly here. Although we're finding plenty of space there. The uh, bounce shot, uh, or the bounce pass, sorry, not quite coming through. And it's going to be snipe time. Oof. Trying to Whoa. find the time, but oh, <laughs> dog, finding the save. Uh, first of all, ridiculous shot. That was a ridiculous pass. That was a rocket. I'm surprised they even got the catch. That was amazing. But the save, even better. So nice job there as it floats back into the bow tie area. Uh, taken by Zenny. Zenny trying to find the teammate at the midfield where we dug, uh, collecting it. So Doug now sending it up to the cloud. The cloud, a big strife. We're right now trying to knife through. It's Dumpling. Dumps it back into the midfield where it goes right underneath the feet of the defender. And uh, Oh, this could be bad. No. Quite online, although Lil Rod Wolf's going to try and change that. Just won't, though. Going to be uh, back through to Dumpling. He's going to try and put it through. Oh, gets it through to Marshy. And in fact, one of the uh, offenders there, I think it was Snipe Time, takes the goalie out. And uh, 
I think he went right in front of him. So right as he tried to grab the goal, he grabbed him, takes him out of the goal, and that's uh, an open two. Marshy bringing the heavy artillery there. That was a very nice fader. Yes, uh, C2 old to game there, saying these guys bomb. Hence the artillery thing. Association, but yes, old to game, appreciating that. Super buddy as well. So welcome to the streams to both of you as uh, we get this launch out here. Uh, with Zenny Dude with a disc and passing it to the root. Gonna bounce off, bounce high, average toast. Couldn't get through that defensive uh, wall and will be stunned and sent to the other end. Yeah, and the stack's coming through once more. Brief three point opportunity. The shot's taken, but it's not online. Could be Zenny Dude here trying to take this one back yet again. Does uh, find it at the midline though. And uh, I mean, it's just another stack race, but on the other end. Uh, gonna be overshooting here, high pink. Just finding it past there, and a couple of bounces come through. It's pretty dangerous. And uh, Dumpling, Dumpling is gonna get stunned before he's able to get the disc, but Marshy taking it there. Further up the back line, although defense is slightly more ready now, and Short Luke gonna take advantage of that, steal it away. Go for that quick clear, but not quite making it all the way through. Marshy getting two stuns, and uh, disrupting oh. it, but is he gonna just disrupt wow. that shot? No, he's not. <laughs> What a huge hit, striking with lightning. It's high ping, it's high, there I'm dug, and there it is. Dug himself what was a fantastic goal. And I dug that one as well. Three point advantage for high ping. And <laughs> just what a shot there. Was pressured and uh, didn't let it get to him. So uh, great props for uh, for him there. And, uh... I'm just doubling and Short Luke is not I'm trying to take that clear, but uh, Snack Time slapping it away and just another slap coming through. Snack Time finding it once more, trying to find the clear, but it just will bounce around mid. And uh, at mid, linking up or trying to for the chains, but some good brawls uh, as well. There will be one player down there for high ping, but another player there. It's Marshy with a clear. Uh, you can see the links from back there uh, through the air, trying to stun on the way uh, as they get the disc. Now, a bit of an overshoot will make this a bit tougher than it needed to be, but still getting there with enough time uh, now. But an intercept, actually. Marshy, IT. Marshy just getting some jukes there. And uh, now taken by Lil Rod Wolf. Uh, might look for a nice cross pass there. And in fact, he uh, will. Not quite finding the last one, though. And uh, not quite going to get the interchange passing play on there, but just going to be taken by Dumpling yet again. Uh, the stack coming through for Space Monkeys, uh, kind of coming in clutch there. Would have been a, an open three opportunity, but not quite found. And now another stack race, Doug slapping it away before Space Monkeys are able to get to it. Average toast here. He's trying to find clear will. And uh, another stack race, uh, lots of clears, lots of boosting here. And now the disc loose off that good grab from Snipe. So Snipe's trying to send a clear. We'll bounce back once again. Uh, this time more uh, successful. But there is a midfielder there. It's Doug with a grab. Be clear. And maybe buying themselves in the clear for a goal nearly as it bounces uh, right underneath that goal. And then right to the bottom trench and back to the midfield again. Yeah, going all the way to the other side. And uh, oh, the stack is looking dangerous for Space Monkeys. Shot, and it is going to make it past. Hi there, I'm Doug. I'm just going to call you Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi. Little Red Wolf, taking the shot. Hi, Tony. Wherever you are. But Little Red Wolf there brings it to a one point game. So nice return from Space Monkeys. Uh, going down by some goals, but then just bringing it right back and staying mentally engaged. And this match has definitely been engaging. Uh, if nothing else, as Doug uh, gets that clear that just bounces a few different times, looking like a turnover, maybe. Oh, but just as I say that, just a mishandling on the anchor, and they'll finally grab it back and send a clear. It's Marshy yet again, as that bounces once more close to that goal. One-on-one -on -one in the bubble, right back to him, and Doug comes away with it. And the stack coming through, average toast trying to take it through. Uh, finding a not-so-average shot, but not quite going to find the time for it, unfortunately, so Little Red Wolf going to try and get the cross here. Makes it his way to snipe the shot. Uh, in fact, the fast pass coming through. That's a, kind of the second time, but uh, third time lucky. Marshy, IT, not lucky, is going to take that shot straight past the goalie with uh, some great placement. Yeah, the Marshy IT going high there, and uh, that's a, what, one point lead, 130 remaining in this first round. I mean, Space Monkeys absolutely brought it back, and they're looking uh, firmly, firmly in control now, it seems. 
But it's still a one-point match, so anything can change on a dime. But just rhythm-wise, Spank, uh, Space Monkeys, obviously, they're feeling great right now. Yeah, and uh, I've just no I'm noticing uh, that uh, that rocket of a pass that they uh, made earlier. It wasn't a one-off. It's kind of every single time they uh, they throw with such force. But I mean, if they if they can get it, it's uh, I guess the the faster the better. Uh, as long as they can make it accurately, and so far they can't, they have been uh, making it accurately. And at the moment, they're trying to get the lead back. They've just got a minute to do it. They know they've got to find time here, but they, they do have a, uh, enough time here to make a uh, proper play out of it. They don't have to rush anything. Zenny do trying to take it. Marshy coming through, though, with that save, and uh, it is just a one-point deficit. So if either team scores at this point, it's going to seal the deal. And what Marshy getting stunned away there. Could have put it away for Space Monkeys for the first round, but won't indeed. And here, uh, Stark just going to be a little bit too late. Actually, no. Uh, from High Ping, they're going to look for it, and they will get the two. 20 seconds remaining. There may be enough time if there is a miraculous headbutt that uh, occurs here. They've got but, only uh, a few seconds. <laughs> I mean, this is almost done. That was amazing comeback there from High Ping. How about this match so far? The back to back, and then a game winner essentially. Uh, coming in last second. I mean, if they at least get a clear, that's all they really need. That said, that was awfully risky. Oh boy. Anyways, nonetheless, they're still gonna win it, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just these these matches. They they make me happy. They make me happy. Yeah, and just changing uh, who, who's winning every single goal. And it's just uh, it's just great. Just on the edge of my seat, like ninety percent of the game. Who uh, kind of whoever scores the uh, if a score's last, kind of, kind of just I... takes the cake. Ooh, the cake. I heard that was a lie, though, once upon a time. It was a while ago. But... <laughs> it was about 2012, but, you know. Yeah. No, even sooner than that. No, Orange Box, that was like, that was 2007. I remember, because my favorite multiplayer game ever before Echo, anyway. Uh, Team Fortress 2. 2007, Orange Box, I played that thing longer than just about anything until... Uh, Echo Arena came along, and now it's been Echo these last few years, and uh, boy, am I glad to be here. Uh, casting these games and just seeing all these teams uh, developing here in Master League and in the uh, for these two teams, the silver and gold tiers just really working themselves up the ladder uh, progressively. Space Monkeys, I mean, they're a team who's... Uh, I just saw them... Who was it the other day they faced off against? I'm trying to uh, gotta go look it up here. I want to say it was Fox Force, maybe? Uh, no, Toxin, that's right, and they had a great, just a great match, uh, and victory against them, that was close, but there's so many impressive teams that have just come in here out of nowhere and are really, really making themselves uh, well-known on the streams lately. Yeah, and the headbutt were just, uh, just gonna ricochet there, right into the hands of Short Luke. Uh, there is a defender for, uh, for Space Monkey, so they may find it, but the punch comes through, and it's gonna be now uh, an exchange of possession, trying to clear it through. And uh, High Ping trying to find something with it here, but there's just too many players in the same place for anything to really to get done here. Yeah, trying to, but uh, as uh, these pileups do form, it's often the case. 50-50, kind of a gamble. Who's going to come away with it? Well, it looks like Space Monkeys. Let's see. Going for that play, but having it snagged out of there by Doug. So Doug uh, right through the air and right up high there. It's Short Luke. Finding that clear as well, but immediately on the boost, Space Monkeys doing a fantastic job to get back and to end to end again. Yeah, I swear, when, whenever someone clears it that way and it bounces off the uh, the top uh, half of that wall, I just, I just get flashbacks of every time that's ever gone in, but oh, the, the ding goes straight into the hands of Dumpling, who is going to uh, clear that one away, but Short Luke gonna take that one shortly, and uh, Zenny Dude gonna uh, try and stack it again, but Little Red Wolf is uh, putting, on an all, uh, putting an awful lot of trouble here. Um, the big Bad Wolf is what he is. Toast. Yeah, Average Toast trying to put it through, but just going to be slapped away by a Little Red Wolf, who's uh, with the big bad wolf again. Oh, unfortunately, just mishandling the disc. Shot Luke tries to find the shot shot. And, oh, what a shot it was from that very tight angle. It just leans very slightly to the left to uh, to get a better angle on it. And uh, will indeed make the shot. The first two points going to high pink. Yeah, and uh, with that, finally, it took about two minutes, but... Got themselves a goal, a lot of back and forth play, some end to end play, got kind of stuck on that side for a little bit, thanks to those brawls from Lil uh, Red Wolf there, doing a fantastic job just to really bother and be a defensive uh, pass there, an aggressive one, 
not losing them. But that said, they still lost out on the points. A few fakes and this rollout uh, going to bounce the wrong way. That is to say, back to Doug in the bubble. I think it's what's interesting here is that Space Monkeys, they're choosing to uh, kind of hard stack. They're, they're keeping uh, the group's uh, players, the, the offenders and the defenders, they're keeping them very close together. And uh, I mean, what that ends up with is instead of having three passes up front, you, you have two. But it means that if you uh, mess that pass up, then you can boost to it and uh, you can do all sorts of uh, dribbling plays with that. Yeah. yeah but yet to see, yet to see that this round, but uh, we'll, see, we'll see if they can do much with that later on. That being said, they do get the stun. So uh, here comes a three point shot, but just going to pass through the, uh, the goal there and going to make its way uh, actually to that barrage of players. And uh, Lil Red Wolf is trying to juke around, find some time here, but two of the offenders are stunned away. So good work there, but it's just not enough. It's right time. It's going to find that snap onto the goal. Snipe time. It's the right time, indeed, uh, for the two-point play. Something, something, one horse slay. But anyway, uh, high ping back on Joust Advantage. It's tied up two apiece. It's the second round, and this has been... So far, these first uh, 14 minutes now, pretty much back and forth. Uh, the, the, the initial few minutes started with uh, High Ping getting uh, two or three consecutive goals, but basically ever since uh, that and the miniature comeback, it's just been goal for goal, trading off one by one by one by the stun, by the rebounded goal from uh, not even sure. Dumpling got his self goal, so almost save, but coming in out of nowhere to take me off guard if no one else. The dangers of having two people uh, there on the defense very close together. I think it bounced off two of the players' heads, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, no idea <laughs> yeah. uh, who shot that. No, it was shot Luke who shot that. Well, there you shot go. A shot. Goes off a couple you, of heads. You stop that. I'm going to short shot you. <laughs> but anyways, over here, it's a Little Red Wolf from the other side of the floor passing it to Snipe. Snipe back to Wolf. Wolf now uh, working around. You see that bow tie covered pretty nicely. The, the passing lanes by High Ping. The defense is really good here. And now they're going to back it out, have a few different angles. And shoulder pass being knocked out there. Slap through and trying to send out. And a nice dunk there. Actually grabbing it was Lil Red Wolf. Yeah, the three-point shot comes through, but it doesn't matter. It was off target. Lil Red Wolf was ready and waiting there on the goal to, uh, to dunk it through. <laughs> As for the puns, all of these players' names, well, most of them anyway, they're too easy to make puns of. And uh, it makes, makes for a very, very happy door. But, uh, yeah, the, the score, 4-4 four to four on that note. And uh, at the moment on this rollout, I expect just to see another one back. You know, I, the first team, basically, in any of these rounds, if it does, does go to a third round as well, I mean, I just feel like the first team that goes on any kind of miniature scoring run, you know, just a couple goals in a row uh, at this point, that's all they're going to be needing to, to win this one out. It's that close. Yeah, but uh, as we've seen that, I mean, it like, can kind of transfer at any time. A couple goals in a row. Uh, it, but, I mean, the, building some momentum, uh, these teams are so so well matched against each other. That kind of, it could be a change at any given moment. Uh, a, a burst of two goals could, uh, it could either put off the enemy team or it could uh, encourage them even, uh, if they're in the right mindset for that. Well, now right now, uh, trying to find the stacks, if nothing else. The uh, Again, you mentioned kind of earlier some of the piles forming, and nothing, I mean, the piles aren't inherently a wrong thing. Uh, if you can at least take advantage of being close range and close proximity to each other and make sure you really prioritize the grabs, you can still definitely get speedily along uh, from side to side and take defenses off guard that way. Uh, with that said, here's, again, those piles, uh, and they're trying to link up, but now losing it out to average toast say there maybe in those piles you have to make those sharp passes okay i'll stop this one going back to zenny dude <laughs> you were saying <laughs> the, the click going back the marshy oh could be dangerous there uh, almost finds the disc but instead finds the uh, double diamond there then he dude gonna pass it through a two shot loop who uh, i will stop making puns off all this rest of the rest of this game there you go i said it all right well We'll see about that. But uh, hi there, I'm Doug, trying to see some teammates find the lanes. I mean, they're very well covered here from Space Monkey's defense now. But finding the pass of the shoulder, one breaking loose, and that was just enough for the two-pointer to be let loose from high ping. Average Toast converting, uh, six to four. And another two-point lead. I mean, 
just so tense here and uh jealous advantage to space monkeys and it's it's not even inherently like that uh i think it's incredible that because usually on these runs it's it's kind of whoever has joust advantage tends to to take the score and, and just uh find the um find the shot off of a couple of passes on the qb but there's plenty of uh, possession changes here, but it, it always happens to be that uh, that team that has the joust advantage to, to score either way. So, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of funny that the, that pattern is kind of still continuing, uh, even if it's not happening immediately. But, I mean, clearly, neither team is willing to give up here, which is it's just uh, incredible to see. Average Toast uh, to make a... Uh, gonna say, go, was gonna say a pun, but I, I'll stop now. That's all right. Hi there, I'm Doug. Uh, I'm not one to admo admonish a good pun if you find one. But that said, trying to find a shot now, that's going to be a bit too strong and a bit too long. Taken out from uh, there uh, will be a grab kind of easily now, right right back the way of Space Monkeys. They have uh, less than two minutes left. Oh, but another grab. That could be a big one, but uh, still in the goal, at least in the vicinity, was Dumpling, making sure to not let anything else through here as uh, they do get uh, the approach on defense. Nest pass, right pass, however, and now to the trench, actually to the mid lane based off that bounce. Oh, and the uh, stack almost coming through there for high ping. They're trying to find uh, those goals in a row. That being said, it's going to be taken by Space Monkeys ever so close to that three-pointer that would uh, give them the lead. Seven meters away, but just not quite far enough, and we will be uh, equalizing once more. And uh, it's scary now because the Joust advantage goes to high ping and considering the uh, the pattern of this game, high ping may very well uh, take this in two, but it just depends on how long it takes for them to get this goal. Yeah, honestly, if I were high ping at this point, just knowing the pace of this game right now, I, I okay, never mind, because now it turned over. Basically, whichever team gets control of this disc, I would almost think you'd want to try and drain a little clock purely so you can make sure you get the last shot uh, at this point. Worst case, you get an OT, but you do not want to give any more time to the other team to get some uh, momentum and have the final goal of the game, because that's how close it's been. So with high ping trying to get this disc here, if they spread out the floor, get a pass off, I mean, that said, just th these brawls alone have actually wasted a whole lot of clock. So uh, here we go. Short loot coming away with a passing play to Average Toast. Average Toast working it up, but getting stunned. Ooh. Big stuns, in fact, from Space Monkeys flinging it to the trench. Now coming back to Dog, he's going to try and find a quick pass, not quite finding it though, and Zenny Dude not able to find it either, there's still time, 15 seconds here, not if Mashi gets a good clear on it, not, or will not though, Shot Luke is waiting there, on the bubble, this shot must come through, I didn't even mean for that to be Ooh. a pun, but Average Toe is putting it, uh, trying to find it, and oh, this oh, stun comes through, is it going to find <laughs> the shot, no, it's going to be cleared away, we're going to overtime. Oh wow, That's that single second, that half second lasted a lifetime just about. I thought, I mean, that was floating there for anyone to take it, and somehow Space Monkeys were able to find it, at least to get the clear. High Ping had a chance, they still do, <laughs> as we go into this OT situation in the second round. Uh, let's go, launches out. That was so tense, all it takes was for one player to get a grab on it, and it, it goes either way, but it just ended up hanging there, and it was just so <laughs> tense, but we will go through to OT. Uh, with uh, two minutes on the clock, and it seems like a, almost a repeat, and it uh, seems like High Ping do get the the first say on it. Oh, but that pass just missing, and in fact that could be pretty costly. Then he's trying to find it, misreading though. The slot clear comes through, and that's not quite going to be what Space Monkeys needs, and uh, it's going to force the ch uh, the changeover once again. Shot Luke finding that pass, trying to take it through to the bubble, but just the defense so far from Space Monkeys is on point. I was about to say, this defense is so... In Look at this. Every time someone's getting the disc, they are uh, very frequently going to be contested. That said, finding the shot, oh, losing the hands. No. Oh, no. The unraveling all the plans there as they get the clear. That is going to be very tough, but if they can get this disc back and maybe reset. Oh, that is super unfortunate. That said, the defense is actually super off balance now, so they can approach us maybe and try and take advantage with one pass, but bounces off the boot and back out again. Oh, looking like a... Very similar situation, the disc just floating away there. The uh, clear not coming through, but the clear and boost coming, <laughs> coming. 
uh, through and Average Toast trying to find it. So one on one. Oh, oh my God! Ahead of Average Toast and the clear trying to find the clear. Well, <laughs> he hunts What's on happening? it. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be. No, getting the disc. Thirty seconds remain on the clock. I don't understand. To repeat after the announcer. I don't understand what is happening in this round. This OT. It is sudden death. There's 19 seconds. Collecting it off the bottom of the floor, trying to maneuver around and off the backboard, oh, but will be found oh. by Dog. Hi there, by there. Just taking it right out of the air, but right back again for another fling. But there's Doug once more. Able to get that collection, send it to the corner. Five seconds left. Need themselves a Hail Mary really quick, but not going to come. So off to OT number two <laughs> in round two. Wow. Not only is a second overtime, but this is one of the scariest overtimes I have, I have ever. I don't even know why. I'm not playing as either of these teams, but this is still <laughs> a scary overtime. What a, what a game this has been, though. So now, uh, what, the last 22 minutes, basically. It has been so uh, competitive, so contested. That said, going into the goal just about, uh, trying to contest it. It's going to be Marshy and Marshy in OT. There is the victory, and it is indeed round two over to Space Monkeys. That was, that was round two. Now we go to round three. How do you even one-up that? I'm not sure you can, but I'm looking forward to seeing them try. What a match so far, and very worthy of a round three, I will say. Uh, I must, have we ever seen a... We were coming mighty close to, to just seeing a complete draw there. Yeah, it could have, could have gone on a while. My, uh, maybe you guys have seen in the, the pre-show scene there, but most OTs was back in March uh, in a game between Space Force and Chaos. Went to five OTs in round three, but that aside, I'm not sure we've ever seen a... Th a three, four, or five since then or before then. Uh, what a match, though. And if uh, any game for it, I mean, I'm, I'm for it on this one. We'll see. And Space Monkeys uh, seem like we have a disconnect, but still within the one minute. Maybe they're just restarting or something along those lines, or maybe there is a sub coming through. Uh, but either way, taking uh, all the chances they can get, because, I mean, clearly in this match, every little inch uh, that you can get within the rules, of course, is uh, absolutely crucial. Yes. Sorry, we're uh, trying to co also communicate with other teams here. So we do have other games, but obviously this one turning into a, a barn burner. So uh, just making sure, because we have Barrage and Outlaws scheduled. So going to see if they're going to wait. But if not, that's perfectly okay. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a bad it's a bad time. I mean, it's not there's never a bad time for a game like this. I, I always love I always love watching these uh, these games. It's just so it's just so fun to watch and cast over. But it's a bad time for me. 1:10 a.m. I, I don't really care. I'll I'll shout anyway. And uh, if I get in trouble, I get in trouble. But it was worth it. Oh yeah, <laughs> always worth it. Uh, so. We shall see uh, what this one turns into, hoping uh, it does get started, too. Um, yeah, we are a bit bit late there. I mean, uh, according to the side of uh, at least one of these teams on Discord, they're saying they're wait, but uh, they're going to wait, but just making sure, because uh, we'll be potentially, I mean, at least another 10 minutes delayed. So, uh, But yeah, if they do opt to wait, we can definitely stream them. I'm happy and willing. And I hope so. That's uh, that's gonna be a, a really close match as well coming up. Okay. Well, sounds sounds good. And on that note, Southern Sniper is saying in there that they're waiting. All right. Uh, no problem. Actually, yeah, I've kind of not, <laughs> I've not looked at chat for the last few minutes. Sorry about that. Uh, by the by, then in that case for Barrage and Outlaws, like I said, happy to stream you guys. Uh, once this one's over, we do have the return of the fourth player here, so I assume we're gonna start soon here. Uh, but uh, make sure at least at the very least, it, it, both teams are definitely okay with it, because mind you. You know, that, that will mean it'll be the 20 minutes past the scheduled start time, but of course didn't expect uh, this one to get off a little bit late and then have those OTs. So that's it. If both teams are good with it, I'm great with it. And uh, we're going to have a lot of streams for you today. Still coming. Uh, four more matches on the night on Channel 1 here. Yeah, and uh, I, I am looking at this chat, but uh, I don't know. That's, that, that sounds like something... Uh, don't want to announce but yeah hope uh hope he's fine hope he's doing fine but also hope all of you guys are doing fine in the chat 
Probably what? Holocaust, Jit the Snake, Super Body. Uh, va uh, vacant Ace. Which is vacant. Or oh, Vacant Ace. Two separate words. But Vacant Ace mm -hmm. it is. See where I was, I was going with that. Uh, in, in the game, yeah, it's just vacant. But I, 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 threw, I threw a nice... Vacant ace pun in there for you, Vacant. You can enjoy that later. But yeah, hope all is hope all is well for sure. Good games all the same today so far. It's been fun. Uh, now we got a fifth player here uh, with on one of the sides. So I'm not sure if this is a sub thing or what. It uh, looks like rostered member of High Ping coming in. Well, on that note, maybe I should go check this, the, the ping, shall I? Maybe there's a issue there. Nope, everything looks good, actually. So... Not sure what uh, the holdup is on this case. Got another about minute or so until the between round timeouts would be expired, approximately. But we shall see. But yes, uh, casters Palador and Swift swag as uh, Alakos there, our league mod, has confirmed. Mr. Flamingo saying hello to Allo. Allo to Allo. There, how, how does that work? Uh, but okay, now one of the players. Maybe with ping issues. So I, I think it looks like high ping might be switching out one. Uh, yeah, looks like that's the case. So we have Brandon Chandler stopping in. Uh, Short Luke was seemingly having some issues a bit, possibly with ping. So Brandon, uh, a rostered member here of high ping, and stepping in for the third round. And now, 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 we are ready to begin and end. One of the players having high ping. Could you guess which team it is? Um, Eclipse. Wait, no, yes. sorry. Uh, <laughs> Kangorillas. No, they were the ones we always blamed. Anyways, over here will be Lil Red Wolf with that disc. is gonna send it right through under the feet, under the knees, and capping it off with two points. See, if this was Eclipse, then, I mean, I feel like we would have seen a self goal in uh, one of these rounds. Well, maybe season one Eclipse. That was before Simeon. <laughs> But nonetheless, how about this match? Where you got to check out these clips after it's over because it's been a fun one so far. I see Nightfire stepping in there uh, as well. Going to be casting with me in just a little while. And yeah, the match going to double overtime there in the second round and trying to go overdrive there on that wingspan, uh, hitting it. Uh, but getting the stun and now getting the steal, the send off, and there's three different players all stacked up. An open goal, in fact, if they get there fast enough, but now it's going to be close. Opportunity lost, but over there to Marshy, winding and finding the two. It's four points, two space monkeys. Just finding this. The goalie just never knows when he's going to release that disc. He could release it at any time, and it, it could always be on target. And uh, that, along with all the other factors, I mean, it's just it's so difficult to keep track of everything. It's why I have so much respect for goalies and why I could never do it myself. I could never uh, focus on that many things at once, but yeah. seemingly taking advantage of it there is going to be Sp Space Monkeys, who finally, it seems like for the first time in this entire game, gets two goals in a row. But will it last is the question. Maybe, because uh, Snipe now with that bounce clear, but goes to Doug. Uh, dug by that rad logo over at the trench now spreading the floor just beautifully look at that you have nest you have backboard you've got uh this this corner post i mean every single position they were there now that said this shot maybe a little rush but they'll still get the rebound a second touch another pass but another tough corner uh having trouble finding that bottom Ooh. and finally it drops for zenny dude but it took a lot of effort i don't care if that pass was intentional or not it was intentional and it was beautiful well, it was. I mean, the, the positioning positioning was beautiful. The passing was beautiful. Uh, the finishes there, the last shots, eh, a little bit a little bit less so, mostly because the two angles they shot it from those first two times were really tough ones, uh, kind of from directly above and then directly below. But everything else about that play was precise, and the rebound's very nice. And the shot, eh, got to think twice. It's three points for Marshy, 7-2. to two. And uh, not really much else to say there. The goal's left open for a uh, microsecond. And Marshy going to take advantage of that in just 10 of those seconds. And Space Monkey's really finding uh, an advantage this round. Finding a, a three as well. Going to be much more difficult for Hyping uh, to come back through. For maybe this uh, this sub. Uh, maybe not, uh, not quite there on the team chemistry just yet. Maybe it's just because uh, they're still kind of warming up. Uh, all the players still kind of warming up uh, are the uh, chemistry 
uh, just isn't quite there yet. Maybe we'll see uh, some more passing and uh, boosting from them later on in this round, or maybe right now as this shot is missed through and they uh, really need to take advantage of these uh, missed opportunities here by Space Monkeys. Yeah, I got to figure as well, I just uh, playing 20, well, because of the, of the double OT, basically playing 20, what, five minutes or so, or 20, 24 minutes, uh, even if the chemistry is going to be normally there, it's still oh, no. a big adjustment as that goes right off the corner. And I should have known it will roam for the three-point hit. And you know what? They needed it. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, <laughs> potential or not, it works. Whatever works, works. And I mean, if, if, if that, I guess if the, uh, the bounce pass off the ring was also unintentional, they, they, they deserve it. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's true. Anytime you get those clears, even in the general direction, it's like whether you get those corners by the bubble or if you hit it off these sidewalls here by the tunnel, uh, those will give you a non-zero chance of making a three-point goal. It's not really by mistake. You see a lot of teams, even if they don't necessarily expect the shot to go in for sure, they know that if they hit those spots, it does have a chance. And you will see them on, uh, it's not the rarest thing in the world. You'll see them a few times a week, usually on these streams. Yeah, I don't mean go to chat really catching my eye there why are we shouting in the chat only i'm allowed to shout i'm just kidding you can shout as much as you want because this game is uh, definitely worth a shout for but this uh, pass not quite making it and uh they really need these two points average toast trying to uh throw it away but not quite uh, making it towards any of the players there of high ping and gonna bounce through uh doug not quite getting the hands on it all missing the boost as well so it might be another two points of space monkeys indeed it will be little red wolf taking that one through or the two yeah, wolfing it down there up by four here with less than five minutes remaining in the third. Uh, like you mentioned earlier, this is the first time we've seen across these 20 plus minutes now, uh, one of these teams really pulling away uh, substantially, in, which is to say just by a few goals for more than a minute. Uh, again, the first minute of the first round, the first couple minutes was a little bit like that Ooh. for High Ping, but ever since then, it's just been a jostling back and forth. And definitely Space Monkey's feeling pretty good here, but High Ping, I think they're they're starting to warm up a little bit here with the uh, unexpected alternate uh, hopping in with Brandon, and they can still make a comeback, absolutely. Yeah, this bounce comes through, but Brandon just losing the disc there to uh, hands of Space Monkeys, who's going to try and find the disc. It's now a two-on-one in the bubble, and in fact, goalie, uh, goalie not quite finding its, uh, his way into the goal, and even if he did, I mean, that shot finding its way right into the top corner, kind of a... I don't even know if it's a newer generation of shots that are being found. I'm going to presume it is, but this, this kind of behind the back or uh, kind of a, a wraparound shot that finds the very top of the net so difficult to read. Mm -hmm. And strikers these days so good. I, I've seen you make those shots too, playing there in non-esport on, on streams as well. Just but the, the amount of uh, skill being shown by the strikers, but just the same, the goalkeepers. Uh, uh, like I said, it's, these are different levels this year than we've ever seen in Echo VR. And it's not just coming from the people who've already been around a few years. It's coming from the people who've only been around by uh, for a few months or for one or two years. Right now, they're going light years ahead. Space of Monkeys lighting it up 13 to 5. Yeah, and that reverse dunk uh, kind of could have uh, could have cost them a couple of points there. But look, it didn't, but... I mean, all it takes is, I mean, the reason that, uh, I mean, you talked about not, not eSport. I might as well go into it now. The, uh, the reason our team, you'll never catch, well, you'll never catch me doing it. I don't know about, I don't know about Ninja Knight or Charlie. They can speak for themselves, but uh, I'll never really do those plays because if, if you miss it at any point, it's going to cost your team a lot of morale. It'll and, uh, cost your team. A lot of, it, okay, just, 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 just take over. <laughs> I get what you're going at, indeed. Uh, like I said, I'm always a proponent of the high advantage shots, uh, or high opportunity, you know, percentage, whatever. You take over. <laughs> you know, I don't even get to roast you for that, as this shot will go straight through Lil Red Wolf to get Ooh. through. I, I, Lil, <laughs> Lil Red Wolf will roast, uh, roast enough on the offense for the both of us, I think. Yeah, I mean, I can't really roast you for the puns since I made about seven before, but I mean, oh well. Oh well, Short well, Luke well. is gone now, so so we can't can't make any of this. What? Oh, all right. So now a tech restart, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
Uh, give me your give give me your ears because I won't unmute it on my end. But let me know what you got. In any case, game almost over. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the time just in case. But we're winding it down. We're winding it down. And I know I know for barrage and uh, gold diggers there or not gold diggers outlaws there. Sorry. Uh, you know gold outlaws they kind of go hand in hand. But in any case, word association. Uh, but yes, thank you guys for waiting. I I'm so sorry. Uh, this has been a little bit longer. Suffice to say that uh, than we expected, but stream my shell, and I'll give you some extra door energy just to make up for it. Uh, I'll, I'll pet myself all up on the Dr. Pepper. Now that said, shout out to our sponsors, our actual sponsors here. On that note, Pro2 VR VR Cover, Rebuff Reality, Fix Gaming, and VRWare.net. Uh, as we try to reset and hopefully finish out this third round strong. Oh, thank goodness. Saving me on the puns there. Short Luke is back, and he's uh, he's in the chat. So at least, at least, at least saving me there. I, I can make I can make puns if if you're in the chat. If you're at least present in any way, then I can I can make puns. I'm about to short out here listening to these, but uh, we'll be. Let's see. It was third or sixteen to five? Two twenty is when that uh, time was. Time of the goal, that is to say. So, really close to the end here. Uh, but we are just a little bit delayed. Not quite sure the reasoning. Did you uh, actually hear it or did I ignore it? Because I might have spaced out. I, I might have space monkeyed on you. I uh, didn't unmute the comms, although I could now. And I will. Stay here, what's, uh, here what's going on. And we might see another 3v4 happening for space monkeys. Hmm, I see. So, is it. Uh, like another is a battery thing or you seeing a sub did they say because given the score and the times left now I feel super bad but at the same time trying not to delay the other streams we uh, are committed to either but wh who's the 3v4 in favor of uh, would it be high ping with three players or space monkey uh, if you know obviously not entirely sure or, or if it Luke was in there, you can confirm. <laughs> Maybe if you know. It doesn't look like there are any players that are AFK or has anything broken. Okay, well, I was going to say, uh, getting about that time as well. I mean, if especially if it's a 3v4, I would almost make the call that would be advisable to skip over to the next stream. Because it is 11 point lead with 220 left, but... I'll give it like a minute, and if I don't hear from the teams, uh, we may we may revert or I guess go over to the next next match, so we're not too delayed for the rest of the night. Because after this, I still i this is a uh, what three three matches in a row, and well we've got three more matches in a row, but it looks like the streams are actually just going to combine, so it'll be six match, uh, matches in a row for this stream. Yeah, I mean, so, okay, being told uh, in the Discord now. That there might be roster situations because they uh, need you do need three rostered players to play. So hopefully one of our league moderators, of which you guys are in the chat there, so I'm gonna nudge you over to the league org channel to maybe figure that one out. Uh, but that said, I think with the time winding down, I'll make the judgment call. We're gonna go ahead and go on over to uh, the next match, which which is to say Barrage versus Outlaws. They've been waiting 25 minutes for us. And this no, one I just is looking about to be over. Hamwao is is now uh, reminding me in the chat. I, I was I was gonna call him out earlier on. He typed something in the chat. How are you doing, casters? And I was gonna respond to it, and I completely ignored it. So, hello, Hamwao, one of our uh, new casters for the OC region. I hope I'm right in saying that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yes, Hamwao <laughs> indeed. All right. So with that said. Uh, I'll take you to the score screen, but time's about up uh, as far as this goes. And, <laughs> and yeah, there's a there's a bit of mis uh, kind of communications on rule clarification, so this is going to probably be delayed a little while. So we're gonna skip on over. Uh, be right back with you. Kind of a shame because that was a really amazing game, but you know, two minutes left, and uh, I think you know with 11 point lead, one way or the other, it's probably about over. Uh, so that said, we will BRB, my friends, BRB.
Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Fun way to start there. So, all right, we're gonna uh, finally have our game between Barrage and Outlaws coming off that, I would say, three fourths of an amazing match there, or you know, ninety percent even between that a double overtime situation. That last match uh, was exciting to watch indeed between Space Monkeys and High Ping. Had to end it a little early because of some. Uh, tech issues and rule clarifications, and it was about over anyway, so much appreciation to Barrage and Outlaws, these two super talented teams, uh, rookie teams who we've seen on these streams week after week. I'm really excited for this one, uh, and on the casting desk, I got Swift next to me. I'm Palador, of course, and Swift, how's it going? Um, it's going pretty well, and uh, after that last game, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to see a, uh, a very... Close game once again, and I mean, looking at these names, I mean, I, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to this match. Uh, lots of uh, familiar names from uh, various cups around various places. That shot actually almost making it, and the uh, just the improvement that that you can see. I, I've said it a billion times with these teams, but the, the improvement that you can make over just a Ooh. couple of months. Oh, I think I jinxed it. Jinx Casey, the I think we're gonna take it for the three. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, uh, well, that was a very Kentucky Fried play they just got stunned out on. And KFC the Gamer right down the top lane. And that's three points in, what, 30 seconds of play, just about. And uh, nice start for Outlaws. <laughs> yeah, and uh, unfortunate there. I think he tried to find the pass, but he just found the top of the tunnel and bounced straight back into his half. A very unfortunate KFC the Gamer. Oh, two three-pointers in a row. And that is a way to build quick momentum, if I've ever seen one. Yep, that is six quick points. Uh, talk about fast food. KFC is feasting right now and feeling in a good mood as it's uh, just two very quick goals based off some good defense from him and from Outlaws. Definitely being just that. They are just robbing them of points and off of these steals and need to, uh, for Barrage, just get it through into the mid lane, slow down again. Obviously, with 8.33 in the clock, it's... Being six points down is no worry at all, as long as you, uh, well, don't treat it like it should be. And uh, yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah, as uh, Tantrum tries to get this through, although the stack isn't quite ready, although missing the hands there of Fast, Fur uh, Fast Furious, and he uh, unfortunately is gonna get uh, stunned away, the the stack of Barrage not quite making it through. And uh, Copenhagen, though, finding that uh, collection at the back, Tantrum, they throw it back out in the, the back passing play yet again, just trying to find as much time as they can. Take uh, all the time in the world. Uh, I mean, because they, uh, <laughs> to be honest, they've shown so far that they're, they're really going to need, they're really going to need all the uh, all the time that they can get with this defense so far that we're seeing of Outlaws. They're just not leaving any gaps uh, so far. Well, that said, might have, might have jinxed it again, but not actually pressing on it, so they will back it out again. Uh, had maybe a bit of a numbers advantage, could have potentially pressed it, but trying to play it patiently, and I don't I don't dislike that by any stretch. I tell teams to do that all the time. That again. said, just playing it quickly, Southern Sniper uh, right down south and then off uh, the eastern post, but uh, taken back now off a good stun by Scoot and needs to get that out of there, and they will indeed scoot down the floor with some stacks, but be uh, brawled out with those smoking stacks. And then right back to Copenhagen down the same lane. Little risky, but still gets it through. And now maybe an open goal on the way for Paravalo, but Paravalo, oh, no. no, indeed. And the uh, that one really going to hurt him there. But you the know what? The point is coming out. So sorry, I was just going to say, you know what? They still got it back is the main thing here. Yeah, oh, they might. Oh, gosh. the save! Fast Furious being uh, fast on that save, and I mean, uh, definitely deserves that title. Yeah. And uh, Perivello gonna gonna get a pass on through just a lot early. Here two tantrum. Don't know what happened. Don't know what happened with that accent, but it, it, it happened. <laughs> and uh, Scoot trying to scoot his way on into the ball. Copenhagen. Oh, getting that nice pass wow. over, and that's Whoa. just oh, such a beautiful play, but an even better save by oh. Fast Furious. Clears it away. Mwah, that's just gorgeous defense after some amazing offense. I, that, oh, that is so tough for the side of Barrage because they, by all means, they earned that goal. Uh, that was some fantastic patience and passing and the rebounds. They did everything right there. They did everything right for Barrage. But what happens uh, when you have Outlaws doing even more righteous? That sounds counterintuitive to their name, but it was just some huge plays and they were 
<laughs> the defense was insanity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just uh, absolutely incredible uh, defense here from, uh, from Fast Furious. Uh, already finding a few saves in this game. Uh, I mean, obviously not only by himself, the, the rest of the defense of Outlaws is putting on a great deal of pressure, which is, it's, it's making the, the goalie's job uh, only slightly easier, I must say. Yeah, and trying to draw the defense out here, I mean, this is uh, what they're trying to go for. They got maybe a two-on-two, -two, but a little mishandling there, and it will be KFC, uh, who's been the recipient of many of these uh, shot attempts so far for his team. See if they get another one uh, up high. Southern Sniper just trying to slide by. And oh, going for a Joker oh, train no. right down the mid lane. Getting stunned and oh. cleared out maybe. Uh, will be taken back. But that is a very bold attempt here as B stands gets it back. In the pass to the... Oh, to the sidewall. And KFC slung that one in. Uh, and uh, getting now an eight-point lead. But really the, the scoreboard does not give this game justice there's so many attempts from barrage a barrage of attempts you could say mm. yes i'm gonna start outlawing <laughs> you making these puns in a minute <laughs> the defense uh it's just way too strong at the moment they uh, need to try and find a couple more passes maybe uh, getting some stuns on the goalie that could really help them in this game but i mean that being said be a huge uh, change of pace here tantrum trying to get uh, this lateral pass, uh, getting it to Scoot. Now it's Copenhagen, and another shot coming through, but not quite on the line. Being again, the uh, the pressure from the Outlaws' defense coming back with that stack yet again, and uh, more students coming through. And Outlaws find themselves with the disc yet again, and uh, the stack coming <laughs> coming through, but uh, a lot of stuns coming uh, coming through as well. The three-man stack here at mid. The uh, oh, 360 trying to put it oh, uh, in there. Oh, but the steel coming through. Fast Furious putting it in there. Now a 10-point lead. And I uh, continue to echo what you were saying. This really doesn't quite do it justice to the game. I, there are so many attempts that should have been uh, against most teams. Barrage would have scored. Uh, not a problem. So the fact that they're having this kind of a start for Outlaws and holding a Barrage scoreless, a, a team like Barrage who can pile on points with just unbelievable efficiency and, uh, and accuracy, but right now just being stifled and it, it's unusual to see, but it's not, it's hard to even like fault Barrage uh, saying that they're doing something too wrong. It's just more so that everything's going right for Outlaws. Yeah, that was just a beautiful pass. Great recognition. Uh, obviously, the communication absolutely on point right now for Outlaws. Getting that pass and stucking on through. And at that point, when you get that disc, uh, disc to the shield and it uh, catches the defense off guard, it's a one on one. And I mean, the the striker can take as many angles as he as he likes onto the goal. It's very very difficult uh, for a goalie, and as opposed to the uh, on the other end, barrage. Uh, taking a few shots with a tighter angles, which uh, makes it, uh, again, only slightly easier for the goalie, but every little inch of slightly easier you can get, you definitely take. Well, taking it is B-stands, and yeah, absolutely, these margins of error so low, and I mean, every every open window, it seems like that Outlaws have found, they've been able to uh, convert just about on these, and Trying to do it again. There's two minutes left in this round. That's a deep heave into maybe a, a cutting player and right through another player as well. But still unable to find it. Now the defense a bit scrambled and uh, they'll have some options, but a bit too strong on the pass. Yeah, I mean, the defense from Barrage is also really good. It's just the uh, after so many plays unfold in a row, it's going to catch that defense off guard at least once or twice and here again uh, once that initial uh, kind of save comes through they just struggle to get it away and again it's going to be back to outlaws they're just going to try and run down the clock he's just going to hold it here and uh you can drive around until he finds a pass which he will indeed all he's doing is forcing the uh, defenders to push out that's furious taking it the duck jump and uh, putting it right into the center of the goal and uh, usually a, a pretty unpredictable shot yeah, but you know what? It would not be the first time we've seen turnarounds, even though this uh, round going to be just out of the way for uh, Barrage. Well, uh, that's exactly what they need to do, actually. They need to put it out of the way, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, and uh, find it more success in the second round. They're a team who can and does do it. So it wouldn't be the first time on this stream, in fact. We saw a little earlier on, there was a, 
what, 19 to, to zero in the first round. And then the uh, team uh, came back and scored, uh, just did well in the second and third. They, they reverse sweeped it, so it wouldn't be the first one. Sorry, we've already done so many streams, like tend to forget because they mashed together, but nonetheless, so it was impressive and they could do it here for Barrage as well. If they're not, you know, Outlaws don't continue playing this pace for the entire 20 minutes. Yeah, and uh, oh, another uh, intercept comes through. Barrage trying to get it away, and again, they just cannot find these the, the tunnel with these clears. They're, they're ready on the stack, and they're just... They get the clear through, but it just bounces off of one or two blocks, and it happens yet again. Yeah. And it, it, it's being prepared for that clear. It, it works both ways, really. It's not just... Um, it's not only a good thing, because if you don't get that clear through, it means you've got to stack on defense, which sometimes... Gonna not quite whoa, work whoa, out. Whoa. And some <laughs> odd things happening, but well, just not really don't worry. It's it's an intermission show. It's the dubstep disc, uh, the the crowd favorite. Not really, but nonetheless, uh, will be 14 points here to end the round, uh, holding barrage to zero. And also just to clarify, I made went back, made sure it was yeah, it was Golden Wind versus Worst a few hours back, couple hours back, where it was just 19 to zero first round, and then the reverse sweep for Worst. So. Barrage, if they can just kind of put this out of sight, out of mind, they will be just fine going to the second round. They are a team who can do it. They are high scoring. They are, as you can see, they're patient. You know, they, they don't rush things. But the point is they have some really good strikers on their team. They have the good team ability, team playability, that can get them a lot of points uh, efficiently. So that's going to be a story to look out for in this next round. Yeah, I just think ultimately it comes down to uh, kind of getting the nerves away, getting the, the clears through. And uh, I mean, it, it's it is very difficult. Clears are still, it's still something that we struggle with. I mean, it's it's so difficult when you're under pressure to throw an accurate clear and get it through, and also be ready uh, to collect it on the other half. Because you've got to remember that before you clear it, you've got to be ready to collect it. Because otherwise, you're just throwing it to the enemy at that point, which is kind of exactly what you'd be doing if you just held on to it. Yeah. So, I mean. It, it's it's very very difficult and it's it's again it's one of the most difficult things i think uh, right over defense it's the transition play it's very very difficult to get a hang of all right well trying to get a hang of the second round as it goes off and it'll be underway slapped out of there by the orange side of barrage trying to find a more successful uh, successful second round and maybe they will well Beast and Sand, no, no, they won't. And then Scoot saying, yes, we will. And then KFC saying, no, they won't. I feel like this is duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season. A little bit of Looney Tunes here as they go for a shot. And that is well season at Scoot, the first two. And again, another one of those shots coming through right into the center of the goalie's body. I mean, usually it's it's the shot either goes to the right or left. Uh, people try to find the corners a lot. So the goalie is kind of on the edge of that block and expecting to have to ju uh, jump for it. And yeah, I mean, the uh, the reaction that they have it is it, it tends to be ready to jump out. So when it goes right into the middle, the goalie uh, is kind of like, what? That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but it, indeed it was. And uh, that's going to be Barrage with the first two points. And a Barrage maybe with a chance at the next two points as well. Worth noting uh, at that, uh, so hold on, maybe a shot attempt or after this uh, collection. Oh, that's a dangerous one, but B-Stance gets it. Uh, Barrage was favored kind of sore-wise by a decent margin. Not 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 overwhelming, but decent. Uh, Copenhagen now trying to make a more than decent play, but it's just going to be cut off by that great defense. And they'll have another attempt, but we saw this in the first round already. Uh, just the defense really clustering, not Ooh. mattering, because now they're mustering themselves the four-point lead. Paravalo. Yeah, the uh, striker not even looking at the goal. Like, actually catching the goalie off guard. The, the goalie uh, assuming... Uh, calling out positions for the defense to, to play. Just was expecting him to back it out, but no. On the tight angle, makes a very nice shot. And, uh, definitely something to uh, look out for there. Mm -hmm. As, uh, it's an interesting joust here from Outlaws. They have uh, the goalie right off the bat. Usually the goalie is the uh, is one that takes the disc. But an uh, interesting, uh, different choice in play. But uh, may have to change this up a bit, because... Seems like uh, now that they have Joust advantage, they're struggling to maintain possession. Yeah, it's it's three in a row now that off these Joust, it seems like we're just ending up on the blue side of the floor for an extended period of time, playing incredibly patiently. And I, 
I mean, just extremely so. Now, that uh, goal attempt a bit too tight from the corner. The defense doing a good job. It was KFC there who played some great defense in that first round. Uh, trying to get themselves the boost and maybe a goal, but nope, overshooting and sailing by. So Scoots gets the disc, resets, and uh, goes to the clear from Tantrum. A scary reset there. It was sort of covered as this shot does come through, but not quite on target. Tough bounce shot, and uh, just missing here. But Peravalo is going to take it back either way. I mean, you do take those shots, especially when there's uh, three or four of you in the bubble. And the defense is yet to come back. That being said, the storm coming through and a quick interchange by B stands. Who's going to get this through? There's a disconnect from Barrage, so quite going to help them here. It's clear not making its way through either. They're not quite all the way, but Scoot going to slap it around. Gotta say, I'm impressed by it. Even just that, you can tell the, the communication is super strong uh, for these teams. Uh, just everything they're doing on the floor. I, I know when uh, teams come in and newer teams, rookie teams, they, they might watch these streams and say, well, how are they looking so calm, collected? How, how does everything go the right way? Well, look at that right play as it goes right in. However, that is tough. That was a nice uh, initial defensive attempt, but Paravalo uh, getting the technical credit for the goal. Somehow, even though Alcos isn't in this match, I can hear him shouting. <laughs> Somewhere waking up in a cold sweat. But yeah, we saw Alcos earlier on uh, on the streams and taking care of some of the stuff over there actually in the Discord side of things. Doing the league mod job, I suppose. Uh, but yes, of course, big shout outs as always to our wonderful mods because uh, they really do help keep things running smoothly. And uh, yeah, Wit, Nada, uh, Gilligan, Princess, Alakos, Sneaky Evil, Echo Zero, Daniel McFabulous, all of our mods. Just keeping, uh, keeping the league running day to day. And always appreciative of their efforts, for sure. I mean, yeah, definitely. It's a very difficult job. Dealing with so many matches at the same time. There's what, like 100 and 160 plus teams or something. I, I can't even keep track of the number anymore. It's uh, 170 it's, it's just plus increases. at this point. There's so many. It just increases with every single week. And yeah. I mean, I tell people all the time, and I feel like this is a great uh, great chance to shout it out as well. And I hear all the time playing at different matches, uh, when people see the badge and etc. Uh, both, how do you join VRML? How, how does that work? And also, uh, can I join VRML? This, the answer to that second question, I can already tell you, is yes. Mm -hmm. um, there are plenty of teams that, are, that uh, do not have any requirements whatsoever. There's uh, plenty of teams that play uh, for the fun and experience of it, uh, which uh, it's it's just great because uh, there's a there's a fair chunk of teams that uh, that, that kind of just play to to get the experience to uh, maybe go on uh, and progress further. But uh, I mean, at the end of the day, just have a lot of fun with the with these matchups that are. Uh, automatically assigned to you each week and uh of course uh, uh, to get signed up to vrml you sign up on the website and uh, look for a team on the discord server there's plenty to go around yeah and anytime you want to join uh, again any level of play you can be super casual you can be hardcore about it uh, it doesn't really matter because whatever your level your capability your dedication level it's you're going to be matched up against teams uh, after your first few matches you get your mmr rating on the ladder and You'll just be matched up against other teams who are of a similar rating. And that way you can just get exactly back whatever you put into the league. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, to echo everything you just said. Uh, but quick check-in with the Twitch chat as well. Saw a little earlier, uh, little Red Wolf there uh, apologizing for the issues and such. And no, no, not, not a problem at all. No need to uh, apologize. Totally within, you know, your guys' uh, rights and... You know, as, as teams, first and foremost, make sure your games are as clean and competitive and handled uh, correctly and such. So, not an issue. I think KFC here trying to get on the stream. <laughs> Hello, KFC. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but anyway, I no I worries. I want, I want to shout out uh, that uh, I have seen, I don't know the name of it. There is a, a VR magazine of some sort. And uh, heard VRML is going to be in there, so hopefully that does uh, spread the word. It's just great to see so many, so many things coming out of this community. Absolutely, um, none greater than whatever it is KFC is doing right here. Oh, Southern Sniper joining in. I mean, the only way this could be more Echo is if we got the Echo Macarena going. And oh, there we go. This is 
This has turned into something. I appreciate it, whatever it is. Oh, let me let me go. Oh, all right, the whole team. That's fine. Let, let me go overlay list real quick. I'm gonna turn this stuff off. We're good. <laughs> Wonderful. Always appreciate it when we get these timeouts, and then it just translates to the, one of the teams going for a half a uh, little halftime show. Now. The dabs are questionable. Uh, definitely seeing a little bit of that Joker influence. We saw the Joker train already. Um, <laughs> you know, why not? Why not? <laughs> Fast Furious coming out with uh, some sort of uh, disturbing dab. One, one, one of the more disturbing dabs I've ever seen in my life. But KFC still going with what, whatever this is. This has to be some sort of uh, some sort of thing. I, I'm very unaware. <laughs> you, Although you're more active on TikTok than me. You know, the problem with this, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you, KFC. The problem with this, you're going to wear yourself out once the game starts again. You're going to have to... Oh, no. Oh, Renegade, Renegade. Oh, oh you got to finish it, though. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> you're, they're about to restart this match. There you go. Now they're going to be all worn out from dancing for three minutes. So I'm not sure that's the best strategic play, but it makes for a better stream, at least, I guess. So thanks to the players <laughs> for doing... Uh, giving us the halftime show. Check is in the mail. <laughs> and uh, Nightfire there coming in with the lull, except he can't spell it correctly, it seems. I was just, I'm just kidding. He, he, I love you. He was just saying, <laughs> L-U, love you. See? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Is it? I don't know what the L stands for. Hopefully, I'm not going to be taking any L's after that comment, but this one, I'm going to... Why I ought to... going to... Going to go into the hands of Copenhagen here. He's going to try and progress this one yet again. Resuming round two here. So, see what Tantrum can do here. Tries to pass it through to Paravalo. Unfortunately, not uh, finding it first time, although getting it you know, the second try. Copenhagen trying to walk this one up. Just finding Scoot there. Just, oh, beautiful placement there on that dunk as well. Just a minuscule amount of. Uh, chances that they have and they definitely taken uh, advantage of it <laughs> just that tiny gap he had between the defender and the uh, the goalie definitely taking taking advantage of it as i said little red wolf saying sheesh pallet dad don't hurt their feelings they just vibing oh, i know i know the dance i appreciate i'm just i'm concerned for their well-being you know i want them i want too much energy you you kids and your darn energy you know put you in your rooms with all those renegades and stuff Says the guy with the renegade gif all around the Discord. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, the, very entertaining. I'm not trying to ruin any vibes. Vibe check right here. They're going to check themselves in for a pass as B-Stands takes it away. And now, actually, I am just remembering. I was supposed to uh, get get some sort of a video going with B-Stands and co. Uh, yeah, that might... Watch the TikToks. It might be coming soon. And yes, I said uh, watch no, the TikToks. Because no. I'm committed to being, uh, being Pallid Dad. Anyways, over here. Tantrum, the clear, it's going to go right off, but rebounded, and swung on in. Copenhagen, how about that? Yeah, and Copenhagen coming in with a shot as uh, Yolo Man and uh, Bacon come in with the bits. I'm not sure how many of those there are, since I've lost my ability to count because <laughs> of lockdown. Oh, I, I got you here. An amount of bits. 100 for Bacon, Ace, Yolo Man with 14, and then 16, and right now going uh, 4. This rollout on the team, on the side wall, taken by Scoot, slapped out by Scoot. You see what I mean, though? The comms are, are really good here. They, a lot of times I've seen uh, from Barrage, they already just know they need to get rid of it fast on some, some of these, so you know the comms are coming through. They do those little slap clears, slap passes. A pair of Valo here with a disc, eight points to two, less than four minutes remaining. Yeah, and just, they really have to do something about it here. Outlaws looking so good in that first round. Uh, wondering what what happened? What did the uh, barrage change here to get through the uh, the defense of outlaws? Because they've clearly changed something. They uh, seem to be more patient than anything uh, in in uh, this game so far. So let, let me uh, tell you something. Kangarillas could learn a thing or two from uh, barrage over here. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the patience, maybe, maybe so. And uh, cheers the yellow man for the cheers, spamming all the bits. That's all right. If you're if you're gonna spam, you might as well make it 
uh, economical. So thank you for the, the support and the cheers and for everyone here tuning in to the stream today. Been some fun games right now. Paravalo finds an open lane. Couldn't convert on the shot. They're still going to be up, but uh, that would have put them uh, at a very, very nice lead, even just mentally speaking. Seeing that 11, you know, a double-digit uh, score on the scoreboard with only three minutes left, I mean... It, it's a scrum, and we're eyeing ourselves possibly, probably, a round three here. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I hope we do see a round three. Hopefully. This game is uh, incredibly, uh, I mean, so close so far. <laughs> it's, oh, the scoreboard doesn't do it justice. A scoop bringing down the hammer, putting it straight into the goal on the dunk. Yeah, we got the that hammer. That deserves a poke jump. We got the hammer. We got the MCs earlier with all the dances, and... Uh, I'm seeing a thing of beauty here on the stream, uh, which is to say another contested game, another third round match put, uh, potentially in the works. Of course, with Outlaws here, I mean, they've been uh, obviously really good as a team. The first round uh, going much their favor. And with a quick shot Ooh. there, which they do get, it, they're still in it. it. It could still turn around. And uh, KFC, the game is trying to, trying to do just that. He found a lot of uh, that momentum based. Uh, offense on the in the last round uh, after the the two three pointers that he scored. Uh, let's see if we can uh, do some more of that with the with the twos. They could even uh, they could force this in two rounds here or uh, or go to the overtime here. And uh, I mean to be honest, I mean I'd be uh, I'd be happy to see any outcome of this match because I mean it's just so uh, so great to see that outlaws aren't just giving up here. They're uh, definitely. Changing a thing or two, trying to trying to cover these passes from Barrage, because clearly they're getting a lot more passes through here than they were last round. They've changed something about their positioning or uh, or something or other. Oh, this might be a three-point shot uh, coming Ooh. through, and it will be for some of the sniper. Gonna, uh, I'm, I'm not even gonna. He puts it in for the three. Yeah, going south for the winter, assisted by KFC Gamer, and they are clicking now so that is a couple goals the first one was just a few seconds into that one joust this one about but 37 seconds it was so that's exactly what they needed to bring this close i think oh no that is a three oh. right in the drink there and the outlaws claim the tie and just like that now swift i know this was the case with a. Uh, that, that match I casted of a non-eSport last week, earlier in the week, I was about to say the same thing. The last, one thing that Barrage does not want to do there is concede a three. And, well, three that it was, it's a tie. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I know what Outlaws are feeling right now. These stuns trying to take it through. They could even try and take this one completely instead of going to overtime. And, uh... I'm just gonna give, give them the, the, the 100 heart bits because I mean they're gonna need it to, to patch up that one. Oh, a trade in stuns, luckily for Copenhagen. Uh, not getting just a one way stun. Shh, that would have been in. Oh in. no. Oh, that was in. Oh, but it's an OT, so oh yes. We got ourselves another OT on the stream today. Oh man. Just a another one, one and a half seconds, man. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I mean, it would have been practically the same thing on the other side. And uh, would have saved it there for Barrage, but not going to be the case. And uh, oh no, it's going to be a two on one in the bubble. Ooh. Put some pressure from Fast Furious. And uh, oh, that one taken by KFC, well read. And the stack, oh, the stack missing from Outlaws. That would have literally won them the oh, game. No. He tries to get the leech, but bounces his head oh. off the block. Oh. And uh, now. With a four-man stack, this could go very wrong here, very quickly, for uh, for Barrage. Fast Furious, oh, tries to take the shot, but it's just not good enough. Finding yeah. the uh, corner of the post, and now taken by Southern Sniper. Going to try and find this one over to KFC, but that's a crucial mistake. And now the turnover to Copenhagen. Yeah, the <laughs> back and forth, so intense. Uh, Got to feel... For all these players, really, got to be uh, careful because they're obviously trying to be fast. They're trying to be furious. Right now, Tantrum has a bit of an angle. It's a tough one, so just trying to find his stack. They get broken up, but look, they regather. They get the goal. They get the OT win. And that was clutch after clutch after clutch. Wow, that stack. I mean, they got bro You see what they're going for there, right? They were... They were... <laughs> they were trying to lead the stack on that pass. They got broken up down here at the boot, and they still stuck together. I, that is... 
the mental game from Barrage has been insanely good, even despite the late round comeback from Outlaws. Uh, the mental game absolutely among among the best I've seen in these kind of situations because they are just sticking with it. Uh, so impressive on on that, seriously. They had so many chances to mess up with all of the blocks in the way and the amount of bounces they just took, but they they ultimately won it with uh, with patience and. It's so difficult to be patient, especially in overtime, when uh, if you don't score, then you're going to completely lose the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, and, uh, remember what I said at the, at, the beginning, at the beginning of the round, too, right? Uh, right before it started. We saw earlier uh, Golden Wind and Worst. Same thing, right? It was for uh, that match a couple hours ago. It was Worst uh, with a 19-point shutout to, you know, to zero on the other side in the first round. Uh, but then we saw a reverse sweep happen there for Golden Wind. And now we're coming back here on this match a couple hours later. Same, same thing, or very similar at the very least. 14-0 to zero in round one. And then Barrage, 12-10 to 10 in the second. That is uh, fantastic and so entertaining. Yeah, and I mean, going to the chat, and don't mind me, I'll just take that number oh, one bits badge. Sorry, uh, sorry, I gotta... gotta... <clears throat> Shout out to <laughs> Swift for the bits. 300 of them, 400 of them, 500 of them, in fact. Uh, high five to Swift. <laughs> Life I've taken. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we need to land so we can actually do that, but it wouldn't work either way because the Rona. Well, one day, one day indeed. I have confidence, but you know what? This is the year of online plays, the year of Oculus Venues events. This is the year of growth, if nothing else, for Echo and for VR and a lot of good things to come. I I'm very confident about the future. It'll be fun. Uh, as we hopefully continue soon, actually, I'm just where's the, where's the time gone? It's uh, already almost time for the next match, but this will indeed be delayed a little bit, possibly. So we shall see, because we have uh, what was it, Instinct and uh, Joker, I do believe, and yeah, uh, coming up, supposed to be in about a minute. Although I do see in the League Org channel they're still trying to determine servers as of like right now, now. So I think we've got a little time, regardless, until they're actually ready. <laughs> but yeah. Little Red Wolf just, just uh, oh, I don't know what to say to that. That's that's. I, I'm used to it. I get it on Twitter all the time. Oh yeah, so you know the the good parts and the bad parts of growth, right? We all love growth, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when you grow too large, it's just inevitable. You'll you'll get people who just who just say the meanest things, and that is atrocious from Little Red Wolf. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> just kidding. I think. Well. That's the first time you say that, and then and then Yolaman comes in with saying that that's the first time I've ever had someone ask for a signature. Yolaman asking for Swift to high five and s that is violent. That's even worse. You are a madman. Twitch is going off right now. They're nuts. But nonetheless, also agreed. Yeah, yeah. That's a fun thing we usually do at lands to sign each other's jerseys and whatnot. So one day, one day. But one play uh, as round three starts here. Oh, and a quick shot comes through, hoping to take Fast Furious off guard there, but just won't. He's too fast, as you, must, as you uh, may say. And uh, Copenhagen, gonna slap say. it away, but he did uh, did take it a little bit too quickly, and it is gonna be back uh, into the hands of Outlaws here, who uh, do get another opportunity to hit Southern Sniper, walking it around the defense. Takes an odd bounce, doesn't matter, KFC gonna pick it up, and take it in for the two. All right, so Outlaws getting the first advantage here on offense, but now Joust advantage going to Barrage. Uh, I mm, I have no predictions really at this point. I, again, going to the Connoisseur vote, it was uh, the advantage being given to the side of Barrage by by a little bit. Uh, trying to check on that real quick, it was 17 to five, so nothing massive by any stretch, but nonetheless a a a, a decent advantage. Uh, so. We'll see what happens there, but I mean, honestly, Outlaws have been super impressive. Uh, very fast, very aggressive on the defense. For the side of Barrage, it's been more so about that disc control and the team play and uh, really just working wonders. Yeah, and I mean, Carvalho looking to do just that on the other end, but the clear comes through and bouncing up. Unfortunately for them, straight into the hands. KFC Gamer taking it to B stands uh, down the line. And oh, what a shot! Taking it through the head of Copenhagen, who was uh, stunned in the goal. But not only that, just the timing 
literally millisecond before the defender got on him, yeah. he uh, released himself from the shield. That's just an excellent communicate, uh, communicate, uh, communicate, communicate, uh, communicative. That's a hard word to say. I don't even know why I tried. Wait, punitive, communicative. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, thanks for communicating that with me right now. We're trying to communicate on the team play end of things uh, over there, but just missing past the hand. So I need to be careful. They don't want to go down by six or seven points here for Barrage. That's not a hole they want to climb out of. I mean, I don't want to have it be like the first round where they just kind of get, uh, get stifled for the first several and just have it carry over for an extended amount of time. Yeah, and I mean... So I'm going back into the, the hands of Outlaws, who uh, tried to find this clear very timely there. Just uh, just as the player got onto it. Did you just say Hans? No. I didn't, I didn't, hear, the, I didn't hear the D, I just heard H-A-N. Uh, so Hans, well, you know what, they're going solo for maybe an open goal, but no, it's Tantrum taking that away, slinging it and softly into the left lane. But look at these stacks already well prepared from both sides. And it going back into the Outlaws' half yet again. Uh, KFC getting a, a crucial stun there. Uh, or a block, rather. The cross comes through to b stands. They've had a high Ooh. percentage shot thrown there. But Peravalo taking it. And, and unfortunately, another clear down mid. Goes straight to Fast Furious. And oh, oh this uh, pass almost turns into a bounce shot. What Peravalo de uh, I, can't, I can't even speak. Uh, communic this, communic this game communicative. Just... Wrong word, but oh. same. All right, same. well. Right now, trying to go down the lane and uh, not finding Ooh. the connection. So miscommunication, or at least a deflection, will send it to the wedge. Now taking it off at stack, tapping it back. A huge pileup of seven players unfolding and unraveling as uh, they try to collect the goal. But there's the stacks. There's the open one, maybe about to be found. Uh, but no, it's taken back by Paravalo. Wow. And to, oh, taken again. Oh, just missing the hands there. B stands, and he does get stunned as well. So, insult to injury. This uh, back pass coming through very quickly, and uh, these teammates were uh, waiting for it. Rather, rather short pass. Uh, very dangerous, but uh, just a good show of communication there as well. Uh, Tantrum, all oh, unfortunately missing that back pass, and Copenhagen will find it on the second attempt. And those, that's uh, that's what really is uh, crucial about those back passes is that you make them uh, close to 100% of the time because if you don't make them it's uh, then in your half then uh, it's up to the enemy stack to get it Copenhagen trying to swing it around but a, a tough angle won't find the net and uh, trying to take it again but it's going to be slapped away by outlaws Yep, and Outlaws trying to get that uh, stack first. They got a boost, but unfortunately missed some regrabs. So this allows Copenhagen uh, to get back to the front line off of uh, at least a couple more regrabs initially. But KFC Gamer positioning out and just kind of reading where the disc was probable uh, to go. And that said, going for kind of a bold one. There was basically a one on three diving in there into the bubble. Uh, so it's just going to be right back into the back line. There's Fast Furious uh, to Southern and Southern going uh, to the pass right beneath and trying to hand defeat there to the side of Barrage. Six points, but that was three minutes expired. You yeah, have uh, much slower pacing in, uh, in the uh, this half of this game. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this round, Beastan's taking it in though, nevertheless, taking three minutes, 11 seconds. and. Now uh, just four and a half minutes remaining, but uh, I mean we know Barrage can do it. They've uh, they've done it before. Let's see if they can do it again. Peravalo trying to find uh, this back pass to Copenhagen. Will indeed get it. Have to walk it up with a few short passes. Scoop finding it, but just forced to back it out once more here. Uh, Tantrum finding it to Peravalo, but fortunately just got the head there. So seems like Barrage having some trouble. Uh, on a couple of these passes, but they are making up for it with uh, these reads, which is uh, good to see. They're not just uh, giving up on the pass as soon as they've missed it. They are following it up with, uh, with some great reads. Backs out to Tantrum here, leaves Paravalo exposed for just a little bit of a second and actually finds himself a good place behind the goal to rest. And he, in fact, he does uh, get the, gets the disc, but that's a great steal from Beast Dance. Crucial there in the bubble and uh, now going to be taken again uh, by Outlaws, cleared away into the Barrage bubble. Uh, can't quite get the stack on it. And yet again, so th this is almost a repeat of what we saw in round one, uh, definitely, where uh, nice shields there from Copenhagen by the by. 
might try and make a play off this one, see if they can get the defense off balance. A good pass, cutting off aggressively, but still finding some room, but unfortunately not the goal. So yeah, this is a repeat of round one thus far where you just have all this great patient play. A pretty precise passing from Barrage, and yet it's just undone by some good defense and a, a really aggressive uh, at that here from Outlaws. Uh, one more fling, but there it is again. A mirror match here from first to third. And now uh, the start coming through again from Barrage, but just some uh, misplay. Uh, we're losing the disc and they they ultimately lose time from that. They're able to get it back, but they're just uh, a little bit dysfunctional here as they were just uh, broken up uh, by their own stack, if anything, and uh, kind of lost them uh, plenty of time. But they still do have plenty of time to uh, to bring this one back. The dribble coming through. A tantrum, though, just getting a little bit too close to that pass. Not quite able to find it, but the stuck coming through. The uh, It isn't in. Oh, it isn't in Outlaw's hands just yet, but the shot missing through there. Scoot trying to throw it through. And the stack still staying for Barrage. Great uh, keeping there. So to find that stack, they... Uh, They've messed up the, the stack a couple of times, but to just see them still uh, together, they just cannot be broken up. The, another clear and boost comes through. This time it will uh, be another bounce from the disc, and almost the same thing we saw from them earlier. The, uh, the stack just will not break. They are very good at staying linked on that chain. That's another important part, and that's why you can see that rhythm, that passing rhythm, the stack rhythm right now, just off rhythm on the shots. Unfortunately, that's the only place they're losing out. Uh, the, the few attempts this round that they have had that are good looks at the goal, as that one goes very close, that's going to be taken out. Hold on, and trying to hold strong here. Uh, but yes, the few good attempts that they got uh, going, they just miss. Uh, the rest of them just was great defense uh, from Outlaws. So yeah, it, we're one minute and 30 seconds away from a potential 6-0 shutout, depending on what happens here. Another two, and that goes through. Oh, Tantrum almost got the save. Raj may be throwing a Tantrum after that shot. This just sneaking its way into the goal as... Uh... Yeah, it just finds the hands uh, finds the hands on the disc, but it's just too close. It's already in. And uh, now might, uh, might seal the deal. Yeah, the thing is, so, you know, some of these shots as uh, one goes off the way there, off the uh, defensive joust, well, it might be just another score here. So trying to gain uh, that momentum firmly, spinning around a little bit to uh, distribute another goal. Wow, that was an interesting shot from an interesting angle. It looked like maybe lost the disc even at some point. And then it just found the tops of the goal. But. Yeah, I mean, unfortunate there. This uh, game will be sealed at that, and Outlaws yeah. finding that 10 to 0, maybe more, maybe less. Depends on what happens in these last 30 seconds, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the scoreboard, again, it just doesn't give it justice. Uh, Outlaws bringing it home again in the uh, third round. The second, oh. and oh! <laughs> Man. Trying to get the compensation on it. Uh, Barrage looking for that three-pointer right at the end. Fortunately, not hitting. And uh, <laughs> well, that's a hit. To, to be uh, as not as solid as possible. Looks like uh, they kind of just gave the disc straight back. And uh, they were sorry for them that that hit the the, uh, the ding. But it is going to be ten to zero. Two outlaws to win the third round. Oh, I'm just Barrage realizing. Barrage won the second one. Just realizing I didn't even put the second one up there. I'm good at casting. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's outlaws taking that third round there. Uh, kind of a similar, very similar way to the first round. And I think, you know, I see chat kind of pointing out a little bit too, missing a few shots. That's the thing. So some of their shots were definitely uh, m missed. So like good good looks at that. But it was, it's kind of what tends to happen. You see it a lot when you have really good and aggressive defense on one end. So for instance, they had to work, Barrage had to work so hard to get get any shots through. There were so many ones where they were just uh, punched out right at the edge of bubble, right around nest or post, things like that where they didn't really have the look, that by the time that you they finally had those third, fourth, fifth attempts and, and so on, it's just you're used to so much ag aggression and expending so much energy that it, it the easy stuff gets a little harder. You see it from a lot of teams, but that's exactly what great defense will also buy you, aggressive defense. It, it's just it's like you wear down the opponent uh, uh, trying to score on you. So by the time they even do get their open shots, it's just they're so drained and they're so mentally thinking that they have no time to work with that it ends up causing them to either throw the disc, you know, throw the disc away a little bit, or if it's like a good goalie they're going against, they're going to try and paint the corners, which you're always pressing your luck with that. You know, you want to try and play those margins. It's it's a it's a big balance. But I'm super impressed with Outlaws' defense. That being said, 
I am super impressed with Barrage's offense and their passing. Uh, there was can't lull here too much. Um, granted, although never mind. I think we can because I'm looking at the Discord right now. And I think we're still looking for servers for Joker and Instinct. So, in any case, main point is uh, there. I, I can't. I know I say it a lot, but I just some of the things I saw out of both of these teams today. You know, Barrage's offense, uh, Outlaw's defense. Eh, there's People are going to be surprised in the coming seasons, I honestly feel like. Uh, these two teams finding themselves in gold, I think they're going to continue to rise. Uh, legit. And, I mean, they're already pretty legit. So, fun game. Fun match. But, yeah, I mean, with that being said, that's, uh, that's me for today or tonight or this yeah. morning or however you want to put it. So, Next match, uh, of course will be Instinct versus Joker. It will be part of, uh, of course, yet again. But we're the Nightfire this time. Who is in the Twitch chat? Yeah. So the the Cookie Fox, I don't even know how to respond to that. Power Adorable is super swifty. And that is the last sentence that I'm saying today. Good night. Oh, well, sweet dreams. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks to Swift then. And I think thanks to Cookie Fox and, and, and Red Wolf, the Wolf and the Fox. But yeah, uh, one big happy family here. So as we close out and maybe possibly get into a server, maybe possibly not, <laughs> looking again at League Org right now, but we're going to get started with the Joker maybe, possibly, probably soon. Honestly, though, if we, we don't soon, soon, might have to be just skip that. I mean, we're almost at the fifth. No, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to figure this out. But until then, I'm Palador. That's been Swift. We're going to be back probably soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.
Okay, hello everybody, welcome to the stream, I'm Palador, and uh, by my side is Nightfire, apologies for the delays, very, very interesting uh, night to say the least, there, there's things, uh, things and stuff always going on in the community, I never keep up with it, because uh, when I do, it'll drive a person a little bit mad, but anyways, <laughs> we're going to get started here with real speed and toxic, just kidding of course, uh, it will be this, uh, the fourth match of our stream. So we were going to initially have these two triple headers. It kind of turned into now a quintuple header, I think, now with this match. <laughs> so either or, I'm glad to have you by my side. We had Swift earlier, now I got Nightfire. How's it going? Uh, it's good. You know, I was looking forward to that uh, Joker Instinct match. I think it might be getting picked up on Master League 2. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, you know, some, some, some interesting <laughs> situations going on. And now we are here and ready to go with real yeah. speed talks and uh, this should be a you know a solid a solid matchup too here though you know two gold teams uh duking it out very curious to see what kind of level of play we get out of both of them uh we're currently waiting for a fourth from real speed and it shouldn't be a problem from them looking at their roster they're one of the few teams uh that I see that has six people actually rostered on their team. Yeah. I feel I, like a lot of Echo teams don't usually do that. I think they did have a fourth initially, or maybe I was just mistaken, uh, but... They did. Yeah. I thought so too. <laughs> could could be our eyes playing tricks. I mean, as I said, I've been, <laughs> been on this stream for a few hours now just about, so you never know. I could be delusional, but I am looking forward to this match. I, I know you were in the Twitch chat for that last one watching that, uh, oh, yeah. that great, great match between Barrage and Outlaws and... It, it was there were some really nice plays there from from those teams and those those teams you know finding themselves uh, 
in, in that gold division. Same here, you know, with real speed and toxins. I'm expecting a lot more of the same from uh, these two rookie teams. Yeah, some wild saves uh, in that game. Some really great, spectacular saves uh, in that Barrage Outlaws game. And now here, I'm just watching uh, Toxin practice their stack movement. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Always on top of it. Prepped and, and yeah, you got. I mean, hey, you got to stay loose and get ready for these uh, for these rounds. And I, I, again, I'm just curious who that fourth is going to be because there is there's like they have they have options, right? And I I, I don't know. I, you know, I haven't watched enough real speed to know if they rotate a fourth in there regularly or do they have a standard that they a standard fourth that they'd like to bring in well you know for a lot of these teams i'm not sure the exact situation maybe for real speed but for uh, generally speaking a lot of the uh, rookie teams we're seeing here have actually employed a lot of the, the alternating rosters we see uh, mm. it's not ever been a common thing in the past with uh, the uh, pc players but then again, sure. the formats of the past with the PC players were, were different. Different times, different leagues, different metas. So you got to ask the question, maybe kind of these quest teams, these rookie teams, a little bit ahead of the meta. Uh, could this be something we indeed see in future seasons as a more established thing? Yeah, I mean, you have some of these new, these, these, the new blood, right? It brings some new ideas uh, to the league. And certainly interesting concepts right maybe if you're having one round where you really struggle a good way to come back in round two and change things up is to bring in a substitute bring someone fresh uh that might be able to bring in some sort of fresh energy to the team as well you know it's it, it, it does have some good merits as a strategy at the same time if you have your standard four that's also valuable because you get the consistent practice the consistent playing you understand how the uh each player moves and it does look like we have our fourth in for Toxin, uh, excuse me, for real speed. And so we are going to be hopping into round one in a few seconds. All right. So I'm ready and um, I'm raring to go. This is going to be fun one. Real speed over on the orange side. It's Eric Medina, Gold, uh, Octavius Rex, and CT. For Toxin on the blue side, it's Echo Cameron. Light has come. Titan and Knight. And will be real speed. First possession, maybe uh, slinging it to the midline and now taken back by them. So uh, here we go. Good bit of goalie work to print that uh, winning joust from going really awry for uh, real speed here. And now a decent rotation in there for the dunk from gold. A great job getting them two points. You know, of all the ways this match could have began, I didn't really expect just a walk and dunk like that, but uh, gold will <laughs> gladly take it for real speed. Two points on the board. Nice little uh, spin juke to get that disc in there and... Uh, now we get to see exactly how Toxin is going to play this offense. Two points, not too hard to answer back from. Not an overly quick defense coming in from real speed. There's going to be a decent pass up here and a nice shot from Echo Cameron. Excellent answer back. Practically uncontested, really a 1v1. Yeah, so it's kind of the same thing on the other side in terms of just walking it right up to the goal and yeah. boom. Uh, putting it in with some speed in there. That's going to be tough to save and tie it up there real quick. Want to say hello and thank you to a too old to game subscribing with Prime about five minutes ago. Appreciate that very much in the clutch as Echo Cameron does clutch this disc and sends it to Titan right down the bow tie. Toxin trying to slow things up a little bit. It's been, like we said, a quick two points for each team. And I think they're going to try and set themselves up for a three attempt would be my guess. Try and get... A little bit of a larger lead. At the very least, try and go for a two. A decent pass to the backboard. Allows Titan to dunk it in. Slides between, I think that was two or three defenders trying to go for the stun on him. Yeah, that was really nicely placed there just on the assist. I mean, Titan was uh, slowly floating, but just nope. enough touch on that pass from Knight to reach the correct spot for the uh, nice, fairly easy goal from the backboard. You know, two points works. Can always be three and a good steal here coming out of Toxin. Ooh, fumble in the disc. Luckily, not being pressured by anybody from real speed here. And so here comes the setup. Good bit of passing, a nice center, and a shot right through the chest. Coming in from Knight for a good is that a three pointer. No, two, sorry. Yeah, just a two pointer from about five meters out, working it in there off of, again, good passing. Uh, nothing super fancy it's just fundamental and fundamentals yeah. this was a big subject of some of the hype matches uh, from sunday for instance uh, venues and and some of the ones even after that where it's just teams don't always have to be super fancy and tricky and complicated in their meta sometimes 
just executing the basics very, very well will get you victories just the same. A bit of aggression, the shot almost goes in, the bounce slapped away, and a good bit of midfield aggression coming in from Toxin. The disc in hand again goes for the top of the gold, just misses. Now finally, real speed can regain some control. I'll well, see, it's gonna uh, fling right back off of that bounce to gold. Gold has a few cutters, some fast, some slow, uh, but they're just gonna get stopped completely on the momentum with the double KO. Eric Medina down low, uh, the goal keepers diving out. Three of them now trying to just surround and encompass all of that offense. They do, light has come, gets the disc and sends it to mid. Really nice bubble defense coming in there from Toxin, preventing the passing from really uh, paying off for real speed. And now they're gonna go on the offense, a quick, Stack push gets him up into position. Some good passing inside the zone and a missed pass there. The cross doesn't quite find any purchase. Still though, in the hands of Real uh, Toxin here, trying to get it into the you know, the goal. Cannot get denied there by Real Speed. All right, so standing tall in the defense, but can they do it another time? There's a boot pass to Light. Light with a cross and almost, but stunned. That would have been a great delivery, but well done. Just uh, from Real Speed's defense, they're cutting off the lanes. They're prepared because they know Toxin is a team uh, kind of like we saw Barrage earlier right against uh, Outlaws there. They're, Toxin is a team who will try and work in those passes and you just got to cut off the lanes not give them the, the cross ones through the bubble. That was an excellent stun on that cross and you know now here comes again setup time. Ooh but a great clear. Huge clear. We'll see if the stack is going to come in from real speed to act off of this. Doesn't look like it is. Toxin quickly back in place, get their hands on disc, send it back to the zone of real speed. And it's just gonna be real speed again on the defense. And this works, Toxin can just burn the clock. It's, uh, they don't have to score points here. They can pass around the zone for another five minutes and they will secure themselves a round one win, but not gonna let it go too lightly. They do try and get some sort of uh, pressure onto goal there. Nothing quite finds any success and again let's see if the fundamental passing works for him no a great stun wow nice block here i'm surprised that didn't go in another attempt though it certainly Ooh. will bounce shot for cameron and eight to two they're up again and up some more that is a say but yeah that that save was super good and i was just surprised it floated there for just an extra beat and um, you had to hold your breath because you didn't know what was going to happen <laughs> Uh, the, the the goalie save and then right into the uh, the defensive stun uh, prevents that, uh, that, that that goal from going in. But yeah, it's basically just floated in front there and uh, real speed able to clear it out here. And, uh, Trying to get there. I mean, we haven't seen any real offense out of real speed in this round one. It's been a predominantly uh, toxin uh, favored rounds. Yeah, it has been, and it's continuing that, because you see even when that disc does get flung into this blue zone, it, it's quite often Toxin there first with a stack, uh, just by an extra second or two. I mean, there it goes again. This time a good stun oh. flinging, and uh, oh, that's going to be flung right oh, out of no. the lost hand, but uh, I think they still might have this one. Got to act fast with a tap, maybe, uh, as they try and snag it back, and into the tunnel, the cluster forming. A brawl in the midfield here goes in favor of Toxin, goalie is there to get his hands on it. And Eric gonna try and clear, intercepted again. Knight now, hands on disc, gonna go for the center and a nice slap in from Titan for another two. Oh, that was just gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> those kind of passes. And those are the ones you uh, see from teams like, like Kang, or I know Instinct is another team that was really great at them. Uh, getting those passes, the important thing, not only uh, near the bubble, but you're getting the pass basically caught so close to the goal that there is, there's just no time to actually save it because the moment that disc is caught, it's already dunked in. Such an excellent bit of uh, team play there. And we'll see if Real Speed can do that on their offensive attempt here. Finally, they do have disc in the Toxin zone and only for a very short time, quickly snagged and cleared. And I do expect a very fast Toxin stack to be down here. Yes, an open goal, is this a three? No, missed on the bottom corner. 
Oh, tough miss there. And sometimes it's those, you know, those easy open ones that are actually the most difficult to make because suddenly you're thinking about it. Whereas before you're just <laughs> acting on instinct and and, and kind of natural uh, the flow of the game. But then when you find those open ones, it just feels like something's wrong. This this shouldn't be this open. What do I do? Been it's there. definitely, uh, you're absolutely right. You're overthinking it. And, 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 uh, the instinct, I think you could, you could call muscle memory, yeah. right? Especially with how, uh, you know, obviously physical throwing the disc is in this game. Just that kind of snapshots are sometimes easier. And again, the clear coming in from Toxin, they are just not letting this disc stay in their zone for long at all. I don't know what the response should be from real speed, but, I, you know, I don't know if they can come back with eight points in a minute 30. Yeah, I think the response needs to be, regardless if it's in this minute or the next minute or the next round, uh, just some more speed from real speed. Uh, because mm. here, look, I mean, here goes. We'll see if it happens this time. Uh, looking yeah. so far like it's maybe not. No, take that Ooh. back again. See, look, look at that. They had yeah. such a big advance there from a. Uh, from real speed, and yet still, Toxin managed to get there first somehow, and that's been the case on a lot of these clears. Uh, you know, and I, hey, we saw it. We saw it in the pregame lobby. They were practicing their stacks, and it looked they were fast. And it gets them into positions like this, where Knight can push down and snag the disc on the bottom of the bubble and put in an easy two. Yeah, absolutely. They're just they're rocking, they're rolling, and they are definitely going with a a lot of just uh, velocity right down that floor. And yeah. for Toxin, yeah, pairing in the team play with the speed play. And 36 seconds left. It looks like round one indeed is going to be going their way. Wouldn't hurt, though, to get a point here on the board if you are real speed. Just, again, go to the fundamentals. Get your passing in. Get a good center in. Uh, try and secure a two at least just to sort of go into round two with a little bit of momentum. Uh, Although the clear again going in favor of Toxin, the stack is there for real speed. Quickly snagged away and into the hands. Now of light has come. The pass over to Echo. And try and backboard it and does find success on the bottom corner. And just as the round ends as well. So uh, first one in the books here, Toxin on blue side, taking it away 14 to 2. They look good. <laughs> you know, Toxin definitely coming in uh, warmed up and ready to go. Their speed, uh, the key factor in that W, I would say, the stack's just always there to secure the uh, the clears that even uh, when Toxin was, cl uh, real speed was clearing it, mm -hmm. you know, Toxin was there to grab them. And, and when you try and then apply that onto the offense, it's, you find open goals. They miss some open shots. It could have been a larger. It could have been even a you know a larger gap there in the W. Uh, I guess they were they were they were approaching uh, a mercy at that point, weren't they? Wouldn't they be? Uh, Mercy's twenty, so uh, still a little ways okay. away. Okay, oh, you're right. Yeah, but yeah, in in, in pubs it's uh, twelve. Okay. So that's yeah, but uh, we have seen we have seen some near near mercies or. So things like that in uh, two of the games, two of the games earlier on today. I mentioned it both times because it could happen again here. Uh, we know Real Speed is a great team. The thing is, the we've seen twice now where the first round goes heavily in favor of one. Uh, you know, the game earlier we had a 19 to zero first round. The, another game it was something like this where it was around 14 to zero, 14 to two. Uh, but both times it resulted in these comeback rounds the next time and the uh, other team would go and look for that reverse sweep. So it's not unheard of. We could see it here. And just real quick to the Twitch chat, by the way, sorry, the uh, couple of the stats actually weren't there because of the team switches and such at the beginning. Uh, so real quick for the VOD's sake, boom and boom. Back to the game. All right, here we go. <laughs> Toxin again winning that joust. Not really contended heavily in... A bit of fancy handwork there. The two-pointer from Light has come. Yeah, good work to start it off. Just 16 seconds off the clock uh, be, uh, until that first shot was hit. Uh, to the Twitch chat there. Dennis, the legend, asking, did Joker win? Not sure. I think that game is probably still happening. Uh, got started a bit late, so we unfortunately couldn't stream it here on uh, this channel at the very least. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it was. It ended up being streamed, but uh, yeah, kind of a late start, so we had to skip ahead for scheduling sake, and right now skipping ahead for the save. It's Echo Cameron for his team's sake. That was a, that was a, a good shot on goal there from Real Speed. Good bit of passing. They they set it up proper here. Ooh, a miss pass 
in the bottom half. Not going to go punished, though. No real pressure coming in. Another miss pass on the back end. That might get real speed in some trouble. Does kind of panic clear, and we'll see if the stack is going to be there from real speed. It is. They continue to hold disc here in Toxin's zone, and they're just trying to work something up here, trying to get their passing to pull out the defense. And it does look like they have a good shot here, and Gold finds success with a good setup from Octavius. Yeah, going for the gold and going for at least the domes of uh, all those defenders and just finding the disc eventually. And doing a uh, good job. Skinny in there, the chat, by the way, giving us a potential update. Joker winning round one, apparently. So if anyone knows, it would be Skinny there. But uh, there you go. Uh, this second round, though, of this game underway. We still, again, have another match uh, coming up after this one. Uh, but until then, thanks for joining us here. Nightfire and I, that is to say, Palador. It's Cameron now with a disc rolling in. He goes by many names. Planador, <laughs> Paladad. Crawdad. Oh wait, no, that, that, was, that was just my, my that was just my dinner yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but and, and actually though, but anyways, over here on the joust on the boost rather being stunned, lots of them going through, but that fling really quick, uh, narrowly missing, will be rebounded by gold. Gold again. Not too bold for gold. Uh, going for a lot of them here to begin this round. It was the same thing in the in the first round as well. I think opened up the first score for a uh, real speed. Really nice rebound there from Gold. He's seen the replay, snags it off that bottom, and it, it was an out of position Toxin. Uh, the stack got there, but it wasn't the full team in bubble. And you know, Toxin has a good full full bubble defense when everyone's there. But I think Real Speed are finding some success and trying to draw out you know the defense out of that bubble uh, with their passing. And we'll see if they can keep finding success here. If they can get their hands on the disc, they're applying the pressure. They are. And Toxin's just trying to slow it up a little bit. Honestly, this is great pressure. They had at least for a little while there, uh, kind of double stacks running on this side of the floor defensively for real speed. And they're doing a good job. And that said, there's gold again. So striving for it. This might just be a open one, but then look again, the stacks. It's so tough because you break up one stack. You think you play good defense. And then suddenly there's another stack in the way to recover for Toxin every time almost. Yeah, it, it, you know, I guess it's just that stack setup, and there it is almost coming in and intercepting. And, you know, I like the aggression here. I think the aggression from Real Speed is what they needed to change up, you know, what, what wasn't working for them uh, in round one. You know, they were trying to play Toxin's game, slow passing, trying to just play man on man defense, and that wasn't getting them too much success. And now that the disc is in their zone, Toxin may be able to mimic what they had in round one. Shot off the backboard doesn't find. Uh, anything there and real speed with their stacks goes missing in an open goal. Oh no! Two mid shots. Oh, we saw that in the first round, right? It's almost too open. You think about it an extra second and then you don't know what to do. That said, the rebound will be found there by Eric Medina getting a save, pinning it off and sending it off to the midfield. Uh, nice defense here. Real speed in control by two and maybe an open goal had the overshoot not occurred. Really good defense. The stack speed almost there to snag the rebound and uh, still control into the hands of real speed. Passing inside the zone of Toxin, looking for a shot maybe off the back and does get denied by a full court defense there. I think there is a three stack to deny that one. It's Cameron uh, getting a grab, but look at this coming back with that three man stack, uh, as you said. But Light has come, grabs it back again, so some back-to-back -back turnovers, changes of possession. There is one deep in the uh, back line there for real speed, in the uh, goal, that is. That said, need to act fast here because defense uh, off balance, maybe trying to take advantage of numbers, unable to do so, recovers, it's gold. The slap, the clear, back again. It just looks like better defense. It's like a better real speed team. You know, they really uh, are rebounding well off of that round one loss. Uh, they seem faster, their defense seems a little bit more aggressive. And uh, honestly, I mean, they are really applying the pressure inside the zone of Toxin really well right now. Got constantly keeping the disc over in Toxin's zone. Uh, it's a total shift uh, in what we saw in round one. We'll see if now that it can just stall. You know, they have the two point lead. Uh, if they can burn some time before they can maybe set up for another shot on goal, just misses off the bottom bar. Another setup and a great cross from Eric CT with the shot in for another two. Real speed. 
piling on a lead now. Yeah, CT calling PT because that was a cruiser right through the goal. Six to two. Looking good for real speed. Also getting updates there from Skinny, it looks like, saying Joker won in the two rounds. Okay, well, there you go. You got your scores. Thanks for the updates there. Also, just shout out to Yellow and Loves the Best, Sphinx, and right now the uh, Real Speed crew coming together, trying to defend this one, granted, and will not. It's Cameron finding that assist, with kind of gift wrap from Light has come. Just nice recognition, and the defense had uh, lost Cameron there just for enough time to enable that goal. Yeah. Yeah, the stack from Real Speed, it, yeah, that stack has been working wonders for him, but it just missed both of those uh, those intercepts that they needed. And a textbook setup is what has been working the best for Toxin. And if they can just, you know, get that setup disc in the zone, uh, get their hands on the disc, they can probably find some success. The stun <laughs> and the shot from Octavius from Real Speed continues to keep their lead up to four. Excellent answer back. Yeah, absolutely. Credit to Eric Medina, too. I mean, uh, Gold assisting Octavius there, but then Eric, the flyby stun, so basically guaranteeing uh, oh. that one goes in. I mean, that's that's three different players there, and I'm sure the fourth did something great as well, but at least three different players <laughs> heavily affecting the outcomes of that goal. Nice intercept from CT. Another clear, quick snag from Titan, though, right into Titan's hands, practically. And here it is, Toxin trying to set up an offensive push. The aggression does leave an open goal, or at least an open bubble, and the shot right past the goalie. Yeah, the opening uh, narrow, but just wide enough to find the goal, and that's what good placement will also get you. You see how a lot of these teams, the higher and higher you go up the ladders, you'll see them really, they're purposely not trying to paint, a, a shoot the disc you know, into the center of mass of a defender. They're trying to find you know the legs or above the head or and their outstretched arms but they're not trying to shoot it anywhere near their hands where they can react uh, and save it quick enough uh, being goalie in this game is so underrated a nice snag there from eric i feel like when you see those excellent saves you know obviously as casters we really appreciate them because they're they're so incredible to see but to execute on those in game is so challenging if you saw that replay and that shot on goal you know he dove uh, to the opposite side of where that disc was. So he, it just guesswork, because he knew a, a quick shot was going to be coming in. And yeah, it's, uh, it's so challenging here with the great setup on the backside from Gold CT finds another two. Real speed, continue to answer back at any shot that comes in from Toxin. This game is so fun. I love it. These matches today, so fun. I love it. It's 10 to 6. There's one minute left. Real speed looking to tie up the series here in the second round, make it one apiece and force that third yet again. Uh, I told you, folks, earlier on we already had two matches where it was a round one blowout that turned into a reverse uh, sweep situation where we, we, we did see the three rounds. And thus far, I mean, there's still time left, but it could happen here. Uh -huh. Could happen. I didn't say it will happen, because right now trying to make it happen, but look at the save! Eric Medina through the cantina. No idea, but right to the midfield. And that was a clutch grab. Two clutch saves from Eric in a row here to keep Real Speed's lead up at four. And the stack is just here. They've done such a good job of responding uh, to playing slow in round one. And they continue to hold disc inside the zone of Toxin. Toxin not going to have an opportunity here to score four points. And we're going to a round three. Yep, that we are. It's going to be round two in the books. Real Speed, 10 points to uh, Toxins 6. And for the third time tonight in, the, in these streams after streams after streams of uh, and string of games, uh, it, it, it's my pleasure to say, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, round three on the way. Uh, this is, uh, how many, in a, is this three in a row or two? This will be the, th the third, I think. I don't know. You're asking me three hours later. I, I, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, I know. You can't remember. It all blurs together. I understand. Especially with so many matches. And uh, hey, it's. It might have been. F I, I want to say it's four four in a row. It's just the, the first match of this stream, the very first one. Uh, uh, Golden Wind and, and Worst. That one went to three rounds um, off you know the whole reverse sweep, but after a first round blowout situation. And that's that first round blowout that turned into a reverse sweep. That's happened twice now. Uh, now, whether you consider 14-2 to two in round one of this game a blowout, maybe not necessarily, but 
The point is, just kind of a big margin turned into a reverse sweep. That said, Toxin, uh, we already saw what they did in the first round, and I think with this reset here, uh, they're, they've been a team who's shown that they can definitely wipe the mental slate fairly easy, at least compared to yeah. most teams. Uh, it's not unusual to see Toxin take a little bit of a beating and then come back with some fury next time around. So we'll see. Yeah, uh, yeah. This this round three pause. Yeah, it has me asking so many questions. What team are we gonna see? Are we gonna see real speeds stack again? finding success for them? Are we going to see Toxin and their methodical passing and just their textbook play style secure them that lead that they had in round one? If we see both of these teams come out, you know, if we see the Toxin that we saw in round one and the speed from real speed at a round two, this round three is going to be wild. I don't know. You know, this is going to be, uh, it should be a very interesting back and forth. Because mm -hmm. now both teams know what works for them. Yeah, and interestingly, I want to point this out because we, uh, we did get the team's restart, which uh, they're entitled to do uh, between rounds. It doesn't waste a timeout or anything like that. Uh, so they can take up to five minutes to address whatever they want to address if any either team wants, and it looks like that's what they're doing. But I want to point out, interesting here, uh, you can't see it on stream currently. Maybe I'll just switch over there in a sec, but now it's real speed practicing the boost across the floor, and Toxid is not anywhere to be found. But this is kind of a reverse of how we started that game, right? Uh, where Toxin was doing the, the pre-match warm-ups on the stacks, and then they came out with some ferocious stacks in round one. But now it's just, uh, it's real speed. They've, they've definitely figured out what it is they needed to do differently, and they've uh, been just kind of rolling here the last 10 minutes. Question coming in from Sphinx in chat. Do you think we see more round threes because standings are more evened out? Uh, absolutely. You know, I think it's, uh, it's the VRML formula at work, right? I, I think the reason that we see so many good games is because, you know, the way that matchmaking finds, allocates your games and chooses who you play and the ranges that you can choose for, for, for challenges, it all is, uh, it all comes together and, and, and really starts to shine mid-season, uh, you know, to late season. You really get to see so many consistent, amazing back and forths. And that's why I like the way that the league is set up so much because you just get good games <laughs> more yeah. frequently you know you just get to watch such no matter where you're at you know if, even if you're watching a bronze game it's gonna be a good back and forth mm. you know it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch at some capacity i want to point out too even on that note we've already had uh what oh i wish i could remember the game but there's been so many one of them went to a double overtime i believe it was uh was it i Barrage Outlaws, I want to say, but I'm not even positive in that. Man, it's all clustered, but we've had a double overtime. We did have another single <laughs> overtime at some point uh, today, and that is exactly like you said, uh, just a testament to the system. Uh, it, it was the same case for preseason, uh, preseason one, mm -hmm. November. Uh, it was the same case for uh, for uh, uh, season one. It took about, once you got into the third week, that was yeah. when you started really seeing it even out, and uh, pretty much the same here. Th week three, week four is when we really saw a lot of OTs and a lot of round threes. And then it just kind of stays that way. You just keep getting good matches, and that's when you really start battling, right? That's when you really start competing for uh, any any gain in rank. And real speed are going to come in with this real speed. For real? Securing themselves a quick... I think it was real. No. I, I'll pinch myself. That was that was that was fake speed. No, that was that was definitely real speed. Uh, because yeah, they found themselves two points to start it off. All right, so Knight with that disc here going down low to Light has come. A light has come immediately on that rollout to the wedge. Uh, kind of a your standard rollout. You see that down the floor going from Nest to Tunnel to Pac-Man and then right up to the shoulder. Now Titan uh, probably needs to back that out, and he does to Bowtie. This is what has been working for Toxin, though. This slow, methodical uh, stick to the, the 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 standard uh, meta plays, and Titan able to walk that one in. Dodges a four-man stack. I think they sent all four out on the goal. I gotta watch the replay, but I think all four went dove for that disc. Yeah, a lot yep. of them. <laughs> yeah, they did. A lot of them crowding. So that's the thing. Dives are a very good thing to utilize on goal, especially when the offensive player is coming in from us. You know angles as opposed to directly in front of uh, the goal. That said, uh, definitely need to communicate and uh, make sure not everyone dives or else uh, you do kind of see those results. Uh, Here we go. It's you nighttime know, the there. Stack pressure. 
coming in from real speed. They're trying to apply that real speed. And they managed to get an intercept gold here with a nice snag. Uh, and this is going to be the setup from real speed. They got all four here in bubble. Good passing on the bottom half. Bit of a fumble there on the disc. And stun on gold should be an opportunity for gold to push that one in from the backside. Yeah, kind of crisscross and was waiting for the avenue to open up for a gold. Watching his teammates bothering the goalies and trying to run interference and doing so successfully. Uh, now snipe time there, saying the double OT was Space Monkeys versus High Pig. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for forgetting. Uh, when you do all these literally back to back to back to back to back now, well, it tends to make uh, the old door crazy. Crazy door. But uh, nonetheless, <laughs> There's another one. round three. Continuing on, uh, four to two, back and forth action for these two teams. That up here from Toxin, the textbook passing has been working for him real well. Able to avoid the aggressive defense that is diving for this disc and not able to snag it out of the hands. The passing oh. working well on an excellent defensive snag there. Great block from Eric, preventing that one from going in off the backboard. Yeah, Eric uh, already some great saves earlier on, some clutch ones Ooh. at that for real speed in the previous round. Uh, a miss there narrowly, Knights going up high from uh, that sky, could not get it off the ceiling, so retained by Eric again, trying to get a uh, bounce clear, looks like, into the midfield, but there are double stacks, but we mentioned the stack practice going there for real speed between the rounds, so kind of mm -hmm. want to see if that paves the way Ooh, uh, for a uh, play here and for a successful third round. It's interesting because we saw Toxin, they, they had really good stacks in round one. They were moving very quick on, on rebounds and securing the disc and preventing the uh, real speed team from being able to get in the zone and set up like they have been at least in rounds two and now round three because here they are with a two-point lead just kind of stalling. CT just flipping the disc in his hand here, uh, patiently waiting for someone to challenge him before he even goes for a pass. Yeah, and... So what they, well, I was going to say, that's what they need to do until they did that. So that's not going to work out too well, but maybe a rebound, and luckily they do, but disc is loose. Uh, interesting kind of decision there, not exactly the results they wanted, but yeah, I think the purpose, obviously, going for the stalls, just to drag out the de uh, the defender, but at that point, uh, the defenders didn't want to be dragged out, so uh, did not work. Good bit of defense here at a real speed, able to get that rebound quick. Not seeing Toxin really challenge that clear at all. Just kind of sat in the midfield. Not sure if they were trying to set up or maybe their stacks were kind of going awry there as they were trying to get downfield. But either way, Toxin is still able to keep the disc out of their zone for a lot longer than they have been uh, for most of this round. See if they can get this intercept here. They cannot stun. Doesn't come in in time. And actually a bit of a three on one here coming in from real speed. Can they secure it? They can. The stun on goalie, the shot on the backside secures them too. Yeah, and it looks like the goalie there, uh, even though was able to kind of get a shield and, and deny uh, the stuns there. So uh, he did defend successfully, but it's just more so, even if you don't get the stun on the goalie, just running interference on them like that, it can be more than enough to just distract and force them to not grab that disc and make a save. Yeah basically turn it you know takes puts his options down to just headering it out of the goal right yeah now uh taking it back and spinning around look at that flourish Ooh. there trying to get themselves a goal oh. as a result cameron opening it up with a little pizzazz over to light has come and that's the two-point game again very fancy feet there <laughs> on the bottom side a bit of a 180 juke to the pass up top. Excellent work coming in there from Toxin. And we can see Luke in Closing the, the chat there. Cheering on real speed. The highlighted message, excited about that. Oh, they've got the lead. They might get a couple more here if they can score as uh, they check behind, but not checking above, getting stunned out by Titan, who just, by the way, good to see Titan here back in the game. Was absent for reasons, but uh, is back here to hopefully help his team lead them, uh, lead them to a victory off his shot attempt, but back out of the bubble. So Titan here is going to set back to Light has come, and Light has come. We're going to bring it up the floor. Uh, Toxin, another chance at the offense. They can tie it up. They can take a lead. Uh, we've got 3.30 remaining in this in this match now, and really slowing it down, but miscommunication, unfortunately, uh, dove just as the pass went out. 
yeah, that was the uh, the pass to the backboard and unfortunately doesn't go the way they were hoping. The clear here quickly snagged up from real speed. They're going to find themselves with an open goal. Not for much longer. Eric Gold just able to get it in there before the stun came in. That could have That's gone a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Had, yeah, yeah, could have. In fact, talking about uh, talking about things that have been repeating over the course of these streams tonight, I saw one like that earlier. Once again, couldn't tell you which match it was, but we saw one exactly like that where it looked like, oh, that's an easy open goal, but just went uh, much too gradual and casual with it, and it ended up being a save and a score on the other end. Oof. Yeah, well, I mean, we've seen missed open goals here already, right? Even in this uh, series, nothing close like that, but, uh, you know, some, some opportunities. Again, an open goal, the miss on that stack. Unfortunately, just... Uh, goes out of the hands of real speed they are able to get that stun off and set up here again and a bit of brawling inside the zone of toxin a lot of people getting stunned here as they try and set themselves up for a play on goal defense getting aggressive seems to be working for them uh, as they do get that intercept great intercept coming in from light is coming he managed to clear it all the way down all right so right on through getting a little bit mixed up on the stack but trying to regather they will get there barely in time as they send it back out to the midfield uh, hitting that pocket, trying to once more gather some stacks. Both of these teams missing the handles a bit. And Toxin coming away with it. Uh, they do need to score here. Less than two minutes left. So will they get it? Yes, sir. It's Titan uh, with a very titanic shot. Because uh, had it been another miss and another goal on the other end, that could have been some ice. They're closing the gap. They only have a minute 30 left to, to, to secure the three here. That could put them up uh, one point uh, and secure themselves the whole series. But I don't know if Re uh, Real Speed are going to let that happen. All they need to do is just play keep away, really, uh, or push their lead up even more, tag on another two-pointer. But as long as they just keep passing the disc around inside the zone of Toxin, they don't have much to worry about. They have that two-point lead, uh, and they've been commanding the disc quite often a nice save there coming in from toxin to prevent the lead from expanding too much keeps them in the game a minute left now for toxin to set something up here and we'll see if the stack is going to get down in time it's going to be a competition for the disc toxin is going to be battling for it a decent clear coming out of flat uh real speed and let's see if the answer back is going to come in from toxin 40 seconds now on the clock the stun Ooh comes in gets Whoop. the disc into the hands of real speed the save the oh no save across the goal the missed shot oh that could have put it away very easily so could that Ooh. but no a big snack from knight so knight keeping his team alive and trying to not make it a bad night no they want to go over to the other end here on the stack there's knight with a collection they've got 20 seconds remaining they have seconds. a pass right down below the bubble diving out but going up and Ooh. now rebounded by light has come being stunned by gold and that is Maybe the ice, the ice gold, and it's ice cold right now. One more oh. attempt from Titan, though, and the mishandles oh, on that will unravel for one more shot. Oh, 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 oh. and that's a game and set match. Eight to six, real speed. Wow. Oh, my gosh. My heart starts beating fast. I can't imagine how fast the Toxin team's heart is beating right now. So many great attempts in that last minute. They were so close to getting themselves at least into OT. Yeah, that was, oh, wow. So close of the attempts there, just a little uh, chaotic and just, uh, I mean, the most clutch of situations, right? First of all, that, I mean, that save on the other end was massive, but then mm. just unable to uh, convert it to points, and they had a couple good opportunities, but as the clock wound down, well, those were the results. But what a match, real speed. Oh, look at that. We've got ourselves another reverse sweep tonight here. Uh, and like I said, this is not a coincidence like we said earlier on. This is the results of just uh, the great matches uh, on the ladder, MMR system, putting these two teams together for a reason because they've been this good. And in this particular case, you know, a narrow victory at the last uh, last minute there for real speed. I... Uh... I'd love to relish in this excellent game. I think we have another one coming up, if not already potentially started. Maybe. Protostar oh. versus Fox Force. I was gonna, I was gonna say, that? yeah, that one looking like it started maybe a little bit ago. So uh, we'll have mm. to investigate in a moment here. So uh, I'll okay. leave you guys on the highlight screen for like a minute and then BRB maybe 
uh, with a game. Okay, we'll investigate. And we can relish uh, in that W at the same time, because that was a fantastic back and forth. Y you relish, uh, you relish, and I'll catch yes. up. <laughs> I'll, I'll jump into the pickling jar here. Is that how it works? I don't know what relish is. I don't know, but I do like uh, pickles, so that's fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new movie about that, I think. Someone can go watch it. Uh, but I, what an excellent back and forth. Fantastic series. And it's 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 the round three I expected. We saw both ends of the, spe of, of, of the spectrum, right? We saw the excellent real speed, pun intended, from real speed. No, and all of a sudden, my fire is gone. That's okay. I'm trying to look into the next match for you. So on that note, we'll be right back, and hopefully Knight will join me, maybe. All right, hello everybody. <laughs> so, uh, this is a match in progress, but welcome back. So these teams did start uh, before, which is okay because we uh, got some delays in streams today. This is 
I do believe the first round, 11 to 4. Uh, do want to note as well, over on Channel 2, uh, I believe Redshift, yes, facing against Spaghetti, that's being casted. Uh, by B Love, Sputnik Cobra, and Mini Hat. So on Channel 2, if you want to go watch that game, there's that game there. But on this one here, we have Protostar and Fox Force 5 almost conclude into the first round. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, exactly what's been happening up to this. Well, I managed to watch the first the last three minutes, and I don't think a point has been scored uh, since then. They've really just been passing the disc round for a while here. Fox Force 5 with a decent lead. Um, obviously uh, can afford to just buy time good clear here coming in from protostar though and we'll see if the stack is going to be there out of protostar to secure that disc open shot on goal the three misses Ooh. off of the top and that could have been a start to a comeback right there yeah uh, still trying to go for one there uh will be stolen briefly and billyism sending it over down uh, to day fox uh, as they do again, take the lead and try and take uh, this disc back for maybe some more points. Let's see the corner shot. Look at that right uh, down the, the slice. Tough angle, but Billy converted. Very nice work out of Billy there. Fox Force 5 piling on to their lead now. 10 points in a minute and 15. Uh, it would require a, a really impressive comeback, but I don't know if it's going to be... Uh... A practical <laughs> uh, or or possible it does look like we're gonna get a bit of a timeout mm -hmm. uh, before we we're gonna see that final minute and 15 of this round one yeah not but we're in here not sure what happened uh, or what what the issue is but either or that's okay uh, these teams going to uh, reset themselves and reset the times and the scores and whatnot uh, meanwhile to those joining us in the chat welcome back again so for those who uh, didn't catch it that that first time uh, streams many of them in a row this one a little bit delayed so uh these two teams protostar and fox force 5 started uh on time relative to when they scheduled so we we arrived here late and that's perfectly fine if you're not teams aren't obligated to uh be staying past their scheduled start time so we joined about halfway through this round and here we are <laughs> but uh yeah pg in there just uh saying didn't realize that the store the score what store uh pally store <laughs> Another name. Yeah. Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep them coming. Crazador. Palastor. Paladad. Punador. My voice is Palisore, but I've got a lot more Palimore, in fact. Oh my god. Real sweet, like a Palismore. Yeah? No? Yeah, sure. And we could we could I'm... open up an a VRML Echo merch branch that's the Pally store. A VRML. Like wow. little Palador plushies. A VRML bakery. Oh. Those would sell out. <laughs> if we had a if we had a plushie of Palador, it would sell out. Plushador. Oh jeez. You brought this on yourself. Uh, tell me, chat. Would you would you engage in Palador plushes? Because if so, I got a side gig <laughs> on the way. <laughs> a sweatshirt with your face on it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> pa uh, pil Pilador? Pillow? Yeah. No. No, maybe not. <laughs> I'm just saying. Keep you warm. The score night. has been uh, reset for those of you asking in chat. It is 14 to 4. Yeah, I think 14. the time, yeah. Been at 15 left, and we are in round one. So if you are just tuning in, we just tuned in. So that's <laughs> why we are a bit into this round. Oh, what'd you say? I tuned out. Ha, just kidding. Uh, over here, though, on the launch out, <laughs> so it will be taken first now by Leaf Around. Not much time to spare getting into really reels here at the tunnel. Little, little brawl here for Disc in midfield. Goes in the favor of Fox Force 5. Quickly snagged and passed to really reels. Five spotted. Gonna try and slowly work his way up. And as he's checking behind, gets it snagged out of his hands from a quick stack push in the front. Able to snag that on the back end. And it looks like. Protostar just trying to minimize damage here oh. as they leave an open goal for Day Fox. Finds himself a nice three. Hold oh, on. What? What? I got to look at the replay. Was that? I mean, what, did he just lose a disc or was that just I... the most casual? I'm just going to bounce. Yeah, okay. Okay, Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bounce it off Stole the ceiling. Out of the hands. I'm just going to juggle it on the ceiling here before I shoot it. Not a problem. I got time. So, Day Fox, this Steez Fox, bless him. And uh, right there, it's going to be five spotted dog with a disc to really reels. 
Fox Force 5 definitely securing round one. I think Protostar are also just sort of, uh, was it conceding round one here? You know, the, uh, we've seen it in the last game we were just tuning in. Teams can easily come back with a, with a sort of revitalized energy. Uh, yeah. And, I, and I'm curious if Protostar are going to be able to do that here for round two. Oh, yeah. It's it, not to be a broken record or broken door or whatever you want to call it. It's uh, I said this in the last stream. I said this in the stream before the last stream. We've seen big scoring differentials in the first round. One team well ahead of the other one. Dominant almost. And then in rounds two and three, reverse sweep. Uh, it's happened again and again and again yeah. tonight. So it would not be uncommon. So if you're in there wondering, oh, this game's over, uh, you know, don't, 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 uh, don't count those eggs before the hatch, I suppose, mm -hmm. because uh, it could definitely change around rather quickly. It's really interesting how, like, the whole theme of, like, how Echo plays out goes across the entire series, right? It's like, in games, too, it's very easy for teams to come back from mass deficits. It's, you, you can secure a three, get an intercept, secure another three on an open goal, and suddenly you have six points. Oh, yeah. yeah it, it, and then you see that also then transition over into the series itself where each round can differ so uh heavily in score and it's it makes it so much fun to spectate and when you have again to praise the, the matchmaking system when you have when you have a system that works so well mm -hmm. you just end up getting great back and forth like that yeah it's a beautiful thing for sure fun to watch and uh right now round two launch so watch out there's these stacks coming through blazing as always and retained by five spotted with a little bit of time as he uh, flings it over to RDG at the top. Now over to the tunnel, but just a few bad bounces there. Disc in hand of Protostar for a bit here now, and they do intercept. Already gonna try and set up, or at least clear it down range. Doesn't go into the hands, and doesn't like Fox Force 5 are gonna slow this one down. A little bit of a clear. We'll see if the stack from Fox Force 5 is here to grab the disc. It is not. Leaf around able to prevent anything from going into the uh, way of Fox Force 5 and have a bit of a passing session here in the midfield. Yeah, and the stack's redirecting nicely, showing the mobility. Mercy wasting Ooh. no time whatsoever. Uh, just yo-yoed back to him. Now going for a goal and five Ooh. spotted, though. Right there on that spot with a good snag and uh, now maybe some offensive opportunities. Really nice grab from Five Spotted. Leaf around here to help help set up with Five Spotted. The duo turns into a trio. The defense able to get back just in time. That setup was about to happen. The cross was about to go out. Uh, very nice timely stun. And now they got themselves an open goal miss shot. The open goal miss shots happening consistently. Takes his time there. Day Fox to set up that one and does get the two points in. Almost gets blocked though. Ne yeah, nearly saved on that and tough go of things for them. But a minute and a half in, we've got two points on the board for Fox Force 5. And yes, hello, by the way, Twitch chat. Sorry, seeing all the disarray. Kind of forget to say hi sometimes. It's been game after game, but appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, <laughs> see Juice in there, Fiji Juice, Wolverine, Sphinx. And right now a very distinct grab and shot missed but tapped from Mercy Hunter. Good slap there out of Mercy. Protostar getting a little, uh, thinking a little too far ahead. You know, they're trying to set up too too heavily for a, a, an approach on goal there and end up leaving their goal completely open for a nice easy slap. See if on offense here they can manage to avoid Fox Force 5 intercepting disc and get themselves into Fox Force 5 zone. That's what we have not seen much of in this series. Uh, Artie here is able to get disc in hand inside the bubble. A missed pass there in the center. Not sure who he was trying to toss that out to. Does keep uh, into the hands of Protostar though. Though a bit of a shot off the backboard doesn't go the way they were hoping, and continues to try and try and work their way around this Fox Force Five defense. Yeah, and it's been absolutely stalwart. It's been stingy. It's oh. been just mean. And they're going to get a clear off of that with all those brawls right at the edge of that bubble. Oh, really reels right on the edge here. Trying for a clear, but again, the mean defense from Fox Force. 
Uh, they are absolutely brutalizing, it seems like. And going for another one, but look at that. Leaf around. Nice grab from the bottom by the kneecap. And uh, maybe trying to cap this off if, with some offense because uh, we're four minutes in, almost. And yeah, no scores going through quite yet. Interesting to see Protostar playing it so slow, you know, they have to have a little bit of a sense of urgency here. It's, the clock is starting to tick down. 620 on it, though, I suppose they have plenty of time to secure four points, and they do have an opportunity here to set up for a nice two. A bit of approach coming in from the bottom side of goal. The cross pass goes just missed. That was an excellent setup there, and a missed two opportunity coming out of Protostar. Box Force 5 going to clear and set up for their attempt on goal. All right, bottom of the bubble pass, just buying themselves one-on-one, -on -one, gets it done. Billy off the back, and that's six points up in the second round. That was a nice little bit of a uh, misdirection there. I think he, I got to see the replay there. Did he swap? It looks like he threw it and then tried to mimic like he was going to throw it in from the front as well and kind of throw off the, the the eyes of the goalie there but an excellent shot off the backboard and what was an uh could have been a good pass off of oh Ooh. no the offense goes wrong mercy with the shot off the backboard for a three yeah mercy has none actually has nine on the board here now for Fox Force five, but Mercy uh, just capitalizing off the turd over there, uh, halfway through the second. Fox Force five, looking like they are gonna try and secure themselves a two round series sweep. We'll see if Protostar can prevent that from happening and take us to a another best of three, but it is a nine point lead they have to overcome. 440 on the clock. Not a lot of time to do it. They really need to start uh, getting their, their hands on the disc. And, you know, for a while, for the first portion of this round, they really had good command of disc inside Fox Force 5 zone. But it's been in the last three minutes, four minutes, that Fox Force 5 has really been uh, just doing a better job of commanding the disc. And now an opportunity is here for Protostar to set up for a shot on goal. Nobody in that goal, but quickly cleared here from Fox Force 5 and uh, the aggression out of Fox Force 5 they just co are constantly in the faces of Protostar preventing them from even being able to set up. Yeah, that, absolutely. Because they have, uh, for Protostar here, they have had a few of those where they got it close to the bubble, they got it close to the goal, but then just at the last second is that it takes a fortunate oh. bounce right to the goalie uh, who was left uncontested for just a moment. But they've gotten a few good looks, but then at the end of it, uh, just the last pass kind of messed up, usually because of a really aggressive Fox uh, Fox player in their face. As a shot goes just out of place, but right into the rebounded hands, and off again. There are shots coming in from Fox Forest. They are trying to pile onto their lead. They're trying to secure this second round here. 3.30 now available for Protostar to mount a comeback, and it might be now off of that intercept. We'll see if... Protostar's stack is going to be here to snag this clear, or if it's just going to go right back into the hands of Fox Force and then another clear coming in uh, out of Mercy. Ooh, but Artie and Mercy kind of uh, uh. <laughs> double KOing themselves. That's going to stall things. Uh, interestingly, everything just went totally silent for a second as they both double stunned each other. Wasn't sure which way it was going to go, but Mercy Hunter saying, it's going to go this way. It's going to go my way. Someone calls to Natra, but over here they're just trying to... Uh, and this one their way indeed with a nine point lead. Day Fox eyeing down the tunnel and right through uh, to the offense once more. It's interesting. You're just not really seeing uh, a lot of the uh, really an aggressive offense out of Protostar. You know, they had disc in zone of Fox Force 5 for a while there, but it was really just one person trying to contend it. And here, all four are able to set up for another two points, puts them up 11 to 0 for round two. Yeah, and now that gap starting to get yeah. a bit wide, a bit too much to come back from. It's going to be tough. I see Sir Dimming in there saying, fun fact, the Mercy Rule was named after Mercy Hunter. I, I feel like you're just you're just going with that uh, just to see if you can get that card worked into the pre-show, even though it's not true. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit of PR there coming out of Sir Dimway, but uh, Palador is on to you. I'm on to you. You're wise of your ways. 
You've said it a little bit too many times. I'm very suspect at this point. If it is actually true, <laughs> then my bad. But <laughs> I don't know, Dimwee. It's not the first time you've uh, you've trolled me before. So hey. Here it is. Here is the full team setup on offense that I think Protostar needs if they want to score some points on Fox Force 5. The problem is it's at a minute 30, and 11 points is going to be pretty hard to come oh. back from. Good shot there. Gets denied. Excellent block. And here comes the speed of Fox Force 5. Can they get their hands on disc, though? No, it doesn't seem like they're able to. All right, well, Dave Fox will try and get a hand up to the oh. backboard. Even a grab there just by Rogar. So either way, it could have been su uh, successful. And maybe uh. it just will. A uh, Rogar just on the hunt. You saw him waiting at the barrier, not trying to dive until it was time. Kind of just stalked the prey and then dropped the goal. Fran saying, put it on Echopedia and it's true. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, 38 seconds, 11 points, impossible for Protostar to come back here. I'm sure they uh, are feeling that as well. But, you know, it wouldn't be uh, too bad to put their more points on the board. I think that's what Fox Force 5 is thinking themselves. They are still attacking goal here yeah. inside the zone of Protostar, trying to set up for a shot here, but some stuns coming in from the Protostar squad, denying that from really following through. And well, trying to follow through on one more shot, but seven seconds remaining now. And with one more snag from Leaf around, uh, we'll not be able to get that second round rebound that we were, uh, we have seen throughout the day. So this time, uh, Fox Force, just uh, these shutouts and uh, taking that victory here, 13-0. Nope. Yeah. When Fox Force 5 was in the zone of Protostar, Protostar, looked like a, a competitive team against Fox Force 5, but when it came to offense, I just didn't see that sort of aggression that they needed, you know? I, I didn't see that that full team sort of uh, synchronization that you see where you have in the passing setup that we did see out of Fox Force 5. And uh, either way, an excellent back and forth, but yeah, Fox Force 5, nice, uh, a very good job of uh, being aggressive and securing that two round win. Yeah. and. Well, uh, again, too, uh, even the times where Protostar made some good uh, moves and, and setups into the goal and did have what looked to be a high percentage goal, uh, by all accounts, mm -hmm. it, it was just stifled by some good defense as well. We saw one there just a right. few minutes ago where uh, coming up from the ceiling and uh, they had some nice strings of passes to the top of the backboard and trying to paint the corner for yeah. a dunk, and it was still saved. And when you have those kind of defenders just aggressing you so hard, even it just makes it, things all the tougher on executing the basics. Mentioned it earlier, right? It was where if, if one team's just really kind of playing that, that grinding game where it's just they really make you grind for every single point, that everything just becomes a, all the tougher to execute, even the, the basics sometimes, because they got you such in a mental kind of cluster yeah. and disarray where you just can't find your footing. No. Okay. That's I think that's going to be it on the, uh, on the week. Or on the, on the week. On the week? <laughs> on the day <laughs> i hope no hope games not. for a week yeah i was gonna say <laughs> yeah well just a quick read of the stats too for you guys before we head out here it was day fox with five points four assists two saves four steals mercy hunter a dozen points two assists uh one save two steals 49 stuns some big numbers for mercy hunter all around a uh, rogar with four points one assist save and steal as well as 21 stuns and then billy with nine points three assists uh, save a steal and 18 stuns for Protostar, a couple points there for Artie and 24 stuns. We had a uh, one save and 18 stuns for five spotted dog. Leaf around with one assist and five saves from Leaf around. Very nice. Uh, 14 stuns. And then really reels, a couple points, a steal, and 20 stuns. Uh, for those there in the chat, just asking if there are any more matches tonight. It looks like that should do it indeed. Yeah, that was a. Uh, there were a lot of matches all kind of piled down the same two to three hour burst. Uh, we just got finished streaming five or six in a row on this channel the last almost four hours. Uh, so yeah, a lot of matches, but in any case, that will indeed do it from uh, us here. So thanks uh, for joining. Nightfire being complimented there by Cyanide, uh, saying great casting. Glad I can catch it live. And I think Cyanide, uh, one of those players uh, you, you mentioned seeing sometimes. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, and, and venues and what have you. So good to see Cyanide there, of course. 
longtime player and a longtime viewer as well there big big John Jimmy saying Nightfire might be coming or becoming my favorite caster is coming for my throne no that sucks but okay that's no, kidding <laughs> no, I agree I love casting of night he's he's amazing he's got the voice of butter oh gosh I but really yeah. appreciate all of the compliments everybody yeah and Wolverine as well uh, lots of good words and good compliments and good feels coming from everyone there so thank you guys uh we're fiji okay i'm waiting you got you got like five seconds <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm a hungry i'm a hungry thirsty door <laughs> i'm just kidding you know where my headset is at i regret everything no i don't <laughs> well, uh i'll check my back pocket and get back to you but yeah i, I have no idea hopefully you find it <laughs> I have right. three of them. Maybe it's one of mine. Yeah. Well, maybe. There you go. But anyways, okay. So from uh, our cast tonight, everyone who joined us throughout the last four hours, it's been uh, great. Thank you for joining. I've been Palador. That's been Nightfire. This has been VRML Season 2, Week 7. Uh, and yeah, be happy, healthy, and safe, and emphasis good to each other. Please. And I'll see you again really soon. Have a good night. The percentage.